Today's A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan podcast is brought to you by DriveShack.com. It's DriveShack in Lake Nona. If you're looking for something fun to do with you or maybe the family, it's a multi-level interactive golf driving range with full bar and restaurant. We went there uh, a couple weeks ago with Jimmy. It's beautiful. It was amazing. Yeah, and they have the TrackMan golfed gaming experience. Basically what that is, they have the the radar tracking technology. Yeah, it's really really good, too. Oh, and multiple games that you can play. I played darts. They had one where you were uh, hitting the ball to try and hit monsters. Anything yeah, for yeah. the family. Anything. If you want to be competitive, how crazy do you want to make it? Or if you just want to bring the family out there and just have a darn good time, eat some food and drink some beers, you can do that too. Yeah, 100%. They have waitresses come uh, to your bay. There's 90 full service bays at Drive Shack. Three different levels. Uh, huge convention space if you want to do any holiday parties. They also have winter social leagues. So if you want to like, you know, kind of like bowling leagues are, you want to get together with some friends and go weekly and to play. Oh, yeah. And and the experience, you don't need it. The clubs, they got them. Go to yeah. driveshack.com. I'd never been there to experience it. it. Just walking into the actual facility will be impressive to you. Yeah, uh, it, it's, it's super nice. It is a monstrosity of fun. It is driveshack.com. Live from the injured on the go, just call Mo studio. It's a blast. It's Orlando's own Tom and Dan. <laughs> Hello, this is your Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke-heavy, and just right. Thanks. Welcome to the Friday Free Show of a Mediocre Time. Yeah! It is another edition of a Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. Sam, is it a TD Friday? Is it, it is, in fact, a TD Friday. <coughs> oh, oh, I got it. I got the COVID. We all have it. My boy's a little No, mad. I tested. I don't have it. No, but, man, I'm all messed up. Yeah, Sam's <laughs> got All a, these sinus issues. Yeah, mm. Sam's got it. Help! A, we got it. It is uh, it's TD Friday, ladies and gentlemen, on the couch. You know him and love him from the Orlando Talk Show with Ross McCoy. It's Ross McCoy. We're back to there's one person every week group coughing yeah. and sneezing <laughs> everywhere. Exactly. You go. Yeah, it was yeah. a nice t- t- couple of years yeah. where we didn't have that, but <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a lot of friends that are declaring to me that they're going to continue to wear the mask on a plane because they didn't get sick. Totally fine. Don't care. You don't need to tell me you're doing that. That's fine. And I'm not going to judge you for doing it. You want to do it? Do it. I don't care. We live in Florida. We're free here. You can make yeah. your own choices. Uh, I don't see a great. lot of people here doing it, but I do see people that go like a lot of travel. They're like, I'm going to keep it up. I'm, I'm keep still going to wear the mesh mask. Yeah. Uh, the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the Orville Peck. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. With nice the, gator. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, gonna, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the picture of Obama. <laughs> uh, hey, welcome to the show, everybody. I only wear the mask like real disgusting places like Ross Dress for Less. <laughs> 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 so, a couple things. Uh, first, we got Spark STEM Fest this weekend, an adult uh, night on Saturday at Orlando Science Center. I know Sam's going to be out there. Yeah. Um, so, if you want to check that out. You're going to be out there debunking any good science, Tom? I will be out in <laughs> yeah. the wilderness with Daniel uh, this weekend for my hey, birthday. Yeah, we go in the wilderness. I don't count yeah. it as the wilderness yeah. the way you guys can. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's a wilderness. There's no, a porta potty. Yeah, there is a porta potty, but we, yeah, we are sleeping yeah. in real tents. It's like there. a mile away from yeah. Uh, society. Yeah, if you <laughs> scream, someone at a Burger King can barely hear you. <laughs> could barely hear you. Uh, we've got uh, Sanford Porch Fest next Saturday on the 25th, and then uh, directly following that on Sunday, we got Semantics, a six-year anniversary yes. party. That's at Rock Pit Brewing. It starts at 12 p.m. Yes. We're all going to be out there. Starts at noon. So uh, come out and say what's up and celebrate with Semantics. It's uh, impressive to uh, have a uh, ongoing podcast for that long. This been successful. Especially a, since we've been crime. trying to write emails to shut it down since it yeah, started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, since yeah, we hers, tried. She just powers right through. Um, she's not scared at all. Uh, also, uh, I want to talk about Manscaped, uh, yes. a new uh, sponsor of ours. And uh, if you want to order from Manscaped, uh, whether it be personal hygiene, grooming products. Well, I tried or, that first, and I tried yeah. the ball toner. 
I got to get yeah, you yeah. some of this, Ross, because it smells great on the balls. But it's a. Uh, We've a got little, some extra. We'll, we'll give a, Ross one. It's a dash splash. It's like a. Tss, tss, and then, like, down there, and you, tss, tss, you splash it up. But then I got the beard deal. So I yeah, used that yeah, this yeah. morning. Great beard trimmer. Yeah, and- they got this new beard trimmer deal, and it's it's like, it's like got a dial on it, so you can dial in your beard the way you want it, and then you can use it on the sides of your hair. Oh, Tom's got. I need that so bad because well, I. Well, that's uh, the regular one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I haven't got a haircut for like three years. Oh, yeah. And it's I'm great. also an old man. So uh, usually when I would go to like Liberty, or whatever, I would slip them 10 bucks extra to do eyebrows and ears. Yes. And without that service in my life, I have cat hairs growing out of the side okay. of my ear to the length of like three to four inches. Well, this this new beard <laughs> trimmer that they got, the oh, brand you know new... What? I'm gonna like, go get, go get the beard trimmer. It's in the, the thicker box. That new beard trimmer, it's awesome, and it's got like this little dial. It's called the uh, the beard hedger. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, now the beard... Oh, no, that's the weed whacker. That's for your nose and for your ears. Yeah, that's good. It's USB, too. No, the beard, the, the, the beard hedger, you know, for the side with the little dial, the best thing about that is that it comes with a beard brush, which I've always been a little too intimidated to ask anyone where to buy it because specific. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a like a thick like a like one of those ones that you pull through yeah. like the way you'd brush a horse. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. it's like that. For, and then it, it's for hide. Yeah, and it comes with a little wooden comb that's got one side that's like longer bristles and one side that's tighter like finer bristles. And so on my lip line and little scissors, so I can get in there finally. I can get in there my lip line because you know you always have one. Well, you wouldn't know, mm. but you know. I you always have that was me, and you didn't yeah, deserve that. That's fine. You, you'll He's have, got it in the eyebrow. You have what? Well, you could use it there. Yeah. yeah. You always have one hair that comes down, and you brush it. But no, you this you brush it down, and you use the scissors to get it perfect. I'm going to get you one. It's awesome. Hell so yeah. yeah, you'll love it, dude. You can use it on your ponytail. When you buy any of these products at Manscaped.com, if you use promo code Tom and Dan, yep. you get 20 percent off your purchase yes. and free shipping worldwide. Free shipping worldwide. So if you use our promo code uh, with any of the products, beard or pubes. <laughs> yeah, there's no other way to say it. Why can't we say beard to beard? <laughs> yeah, we can, uh, they said we could say it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Listen, you can uh, shave your asshole with these things. Yeah, yeah. It's a fine product. They, well, you know what? We, they said say anything you want. I'm like, no. <laughs> well, <laughs> Not anything. Like, so they should have called it. I'll just say this. They should have called it pubes downstairs. Up here, face pubes. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's off putting. Uh, the face, my, my face here. Here. Body, uh, hair. body hair, body uh, hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even that's kind of gross. Yeah, it uh, is. Kinda, yeah. So get manscaped yeah. and get rid of your body hair. There you go. So, um, real quick, because the Super Bowl was last Sunday. Have you seen the new Assad conspiracy with the Super Bowl? I, I mentioned this this morning with no. you guys, and and no one here has heard of it. But no. uh, and it's probably because of the stuff I follow and my algorithm on TikTok. It, uh, I've seen it come up a bunch. Yeah. But, I told you the only thing that I mm. had heard about any controversy in. Involving the Super Bowl yep. was when people were slipping, and Terry that, Bradshaw said something. He was like, "This field is painted, and I want to know why." Oh. And then nobody ever went yeah. back to it, you know. And I like, I don't know, I don't like Terry Bradshaw now. Uh, after, he didn't get the script ahead yeah, of time after he insulted Andy Reid. So uh, apparently, and so when I see this, you see these conspiracies. I don't really believe that on too many conspiracies. I think they're too hard to pull off, and most people just talk. Uh, Most of the NFL ones are true, though. (laughs) Most of the NFL ones always turn out to be true. It feels like a lot of them are. there's money involved. Because, well, the problem is because shit always happens in the NFL, and they they deny it, and then a videotape emerges that shows exactly that that shit happens. (laughs) So it's like, you guys are fucking liars. You can't trust anything you say. So uh, this conspiracy, it doesn't have to do with the NFL. It has to do with one person that is in charge or was in charge Mm -hmm. of the actual sod of the playing field. And apparently, it's this guy named... They call him Gump. It was a bad well, idea. They call him the Sod Father, right? And oh. he's, he just retired this year. He's ninety-four years old. How ironic! He retired right after the Super Bowl. Well, okay, so when I started oh, reading yeah. about it this, is, he's a hundred years old. He for is crazy. ninety-four. Ninety-four. God damn! It is the peak of sodding events, though, Sam. Once you've <laughs> yeah. sodded the Super but Bowl, there's nowhere else to go. Super Bowls before really? every yeah. every single no, one. Every Super what? Bowl. That's S- the since, hook. since well, the beginning. Then um, he was due to retire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So okay. When I read the story, and like I said, I normally don't believe in conspiracy Wait, theories. First of all, you didn't but, read the story. But uh, no, I did. I read. The oh story. my god! 
I well, then, okay, then, I, then I'm then i listening. Mainly because I was like, man, if someone knew about this before. But you heard about it game, first and then you read about it. Uh, yeah, I was like, you could have made, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars betting on this, you know, because really when it comes to betting like uh, overs and, and this, it could have actually, you could argue it could have gone any way. But like as far as the over goes, you could have had as much money as you wanted, really, because they take unlimited money on the Super Bowl so what side. Happened? Total. Okay, so the sod father, this guy named George Tomey, right? Uh, he's done every single Super Bowl since the beginning. And apparently when he started, like he then he started uh, working for the Chiefs and he worked as the groundskeeper for the Chiefs for a lot of years and in fact has two Chiefs Super Bowl rings from years past or whatever that they gave him because he was like the groundskeeper right, and part of the team or whatever. The field. So, Does the fucking towel guy get a ring too? How many right. rings? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. oh, it kind of diminishes it. <laughs> you should yeah. see it in baseball. In You're, baseball they make replicas and I've they fire them into the stands. Yeah, I've said before you shouldn't get a ring unless you play yeah, a snap. I, I agree like, with you that. You shouldn't be a backup player. No. And like, if you sat on the bench the whole time no. you shouldn't get a ring. I don't even think an owner should get one. Players <laughs> only. This is my Super Bowl ring. I sold hot dogs that night. <laughs> it was a rough night. Yeah, was I was of... slinging dogs to the left. I was slinging dogs to the right. Relish everywhere. <laughs> it was a bloodbath of ketchup. Offensive line, defensive line, wide receivers, quarterback. That's it. <laughs> Maybe one uh, linebacker. Anyway. If the kicker participates. Yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, apparently yeah. the concession so, people did get rings, by the way. So, um, so the sod father. So, the conspiracy being, because everybody watched Super Bowl and they were slipping around, right? And I did find this odd. I would accept that only if they're candy Super Bowl rings. <laughs> the, uh, Replicas. When I was watching the Super Bowl live, they mentioned that all the Eagles players, and they, they showed a sideline uh, picture or video of a bunch of cleats in a pile. I thought they showed Jalen Hurts side by side. They're like, <laughs> look at these that he's wearing. Now look at these that he's yeah. wearing. And they were they were saying like all the Eagles players had changed their cleats uh, during halftime, and none of the mm-hmm. Chiefs players did, right? And they mentioned that live in the Super Bowl. Yeah, they, they like, were, uh, and I think it was Jalen Hurts that they went to, and they showed his shoes, and yeah. they were like, well, he went to these, then he switched back to these, and... So then I read further, and apparently, um, like, the grass that they use uh, would, in this season, be brown, so they use uh, rye grass to make it green, so it looks pretty, right? Wait, that's what you do for yeah. Christmas? <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh my yeah, god, yeah. you're the sod father. And see, the rye grass uh, is that bright green color, so they mix in the rye gr- grass with the regular, I guess, Bermuda or whatever the hell they use yeah. for the, the, the field. I don't know my grass. And they and the rye grass is what makes it green, yet, if they use too much rye grass from the people stepping on it, it like rye grass holds water, and it creates <coughs> a little, it creates uh, p- slippery gr- grass or a field, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's Flat. just a, that's a mixture that's up to the groundskeeper. Uh, uh, you know. uh, well, who was so, the groundskeeper? We need answers. Well, it's the Sodfather, which has two Super Bowl well, rings from the Chiefs. He's a Kansas it. City man. And if, through and through. If you looked at now, you could say, and people are like, well, they both played on the same field. Right. But, but the uh, slippery field. If and you this, had advanced knowledge right. of what the conditions were going to be of this field. It, and it also. Or it, his it, rye grass mix. It benefits mm-hmm. the offense and hinders the defense because, and this is, uh, in, I know this from gambling because I've listened to a lot of gambling podcasts. And anytime there's a lot of snow or slippery conditions, it's always going to be uh, beneficial to, to the, the offense. offense because the defense has to react. So it's hard. Like the offense knows where they're going, right? right. Because they have to play and the defense mm-hmm. has to react, therefore causing like uh, more of those fast twitch movements, which would cause you to slip mm-hmm. more than the offense. So it's a benefit to the offense. And if you, I could see a scenario where the sod father, who is now retired, that was his last game, somehow leaked information to the Chiefs organization telling them, yeah, hey, they fucking called him. I am like, hey, it's me, <laughs> that old man that shot your grass. And now, t- I put the 30-60 rye mix. Yeah. They're going to be slipping all over the and place. Then, yeah. Now, I, the only problem with this conspiracy theory is it, this would be... Uh, this doesn't sound like a conspiracy theory to me. This sounds like what you just told me yeah. was the greenskeeper for the Kansas City Chiefs was in charge of the field. It well, stopped he- as soon as you told me that. <laughs> you, I'm like, well, now, of course. You haven't made any logical leaps yet. You've just stated a number of facts. Right, and, and I'm all in already. Now, We're drawing conclusions. Here's the only, the, the, what would make it That's proof. That's the closest Ross will ever come to agree <laughs> yeah, with yeah. you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what would make it proof, though, if, and this would kind of be easy to prove, if they looked at the Kansas City, uh, like, um, the equipment managers and found out 
out if they actually wore abnormal cleats comparatively to what they normally do? You know, like, were their cleats lo- longer uh, than they normally would play in an outdoor field? Because then that would tell me, okay, they did have some advance. But if it was but the they same- wouldn't need to do that because the greenskeeper, right, they play there. So the cleats that they're going to have in play more often than not are going to be the ones that are used to the way that this guy keeps the greens. Not necessarily, because how I don't know the the field in Kansas City. This was in Arizona. Yeah, obviously. I'm just saying though. So, but you got the same guy. Yeah, like yeah. if I go, okay, if I'm okay. Danny in a band, I, right? And Ross and we're all right. in a band, and we're going to play the Amway, right? Mm. And I know how the sound goes as a sound guy, and I go, hey, who are we working with on sound? And you go, we're working with Jerry. I go, oh great, I love Jerry. He sets up everything mm-hmm. when we do a sound check. You're and it's familiar good. with his I, He's bass heavy. Jerry loves to mix the bass heavy. And then we go to Clearwater, and I go, who's working sound tonight? And you go, Jerry. I go, mm, all right, think I know where this is going. Yes. That's my point. So then, that's all I'm saying. And then people have gone back and analyzed every slip that the Eagles defense <laughs> and comparatively <laughs> it, to it, the, the Chiefs. It and, was a lot. And apparently, uh, someone went back and like studied the tape or whatever. And people say America's in trouble, but we got free time. Yeah, it's free time. Yeah, it can be applied to a lot of things. Eagles, uh, the Eagles defense not in trouble yet. Slipped thirty eight percent of Mahomes' dropbacks. You know what I'm saying? Like so, their pass rush, right, which was really good this year, but they were slipped thirty eight percent. They were hindered comparatively to like fourteen uh, percent of the Chiefs. Like you know, they just look and counted every slip in the game. And so you can draw a logical conclusion like this helped the Chiefs and hindered the Eagles in a small percentage. Now, you go back and look at the whole game. You're like, the Eagles dominated the first half, and then they changed their cleats after the second half. And the second half is when they really – so it was like – if, you know, I guess what I, how much did it really matter is hard to say, but I, here's why it have could a have happened. I got a problem with this, and tell me what you guys think about this. I don't know, look, with the way that we plan things and the way that we try to overthink things in our meetings and we're planning events yeah, yeah. and doing stuff, I know this would have come up if we were in charge of the uh, Super Bowl, and we forget a lot of stuff. But it's surprising to me that, yeah, you've got this guy that's been doing it every year. I don't know that much about him. But no one questioned that, like, well, you're a little too close to this, or maybe you shouldn't be the guy, or if he works with a specific... My point is he, is that he's, if, <laughs> it, like, if the Giants are in the Super Bowl and we're using Giants Stadium, yeah, yeah. then you mean to tell me you're not going to set it up so it's like more neutral to the two teams? There's playing? probably only like, so many of this guy, though. Well, I mean, I mean like, he's done it every single year. Yeah, but now, why does he have to do it every year? I mean, there there are other greenskeepers that do yeah, it for yeah. playoff games. There are other greenskeepers that do it for regular games, and it has to look great. I guess um, when it comes, because uh, normally, uh, they, you know, players are constantly bitching about uh, playing on artificial grass yeah. because uh, they blow their ACL out yeah. and stuff like that. They like yeah. to play on sod matters. Yeah. Um, Soccer guy. That's okay, a, well, who's going to do it next year now that this guy's gone? There's, I don't know. there's somebody else capable of yes, doing it. Of yeah, course. That's, that's yeah, my yeah. point is that they didn't put well, enough thought into thinking, well, you know, the way people well, in are. Well, 2020, I mean, he, he also was the groundskeeper, and he got a Super Bowl ring when they won. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean. They, they won that one, too, guys. Yeah, but <laughs> they didn't think about that. But people weren't slipping yeah, around. Ring for it. Right. Like, this, this, this was the only Super Bowl I've ever watched where. They, I saw another article, and now I can't find it, bad. where they also said that the name of the grass was like a Native American terminology for like frozen grass or something, which I don't know if I believe that or not. Uh, but it also comes from, I think they said Oklahoma. I wish I could find the damn article now. I, I saw it in there and now I can't find it. But they were like, and where is, uh, what's his name? Jalen, what's his name? Jalen Hurt. That Jalen yes, they're like, get, where's he from? Oklahoma. This was a dig at him, and it's like that's a little too specific. Oh, here, here. oh but well, people love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's the conspiracy they were going theory. Far. And, and, and and really, really, no I think this dumb ninety-four year old man is is really yeah. got something against this well, guy. <laughs> what does make sense is the old man just wants his team to win. About to retire yeah. and says like, hey, I'm gonna sprinkle a little more uh, fucking uh, rye grass in yes. there. It'll be a little slippier, uh, and then I'm gonna yeah. tell the Chiefs like, hey, wear your biggest cleats uh, and just wear your like, big boy. <laughs> Now, but again, uh, the first half, the Eagles were dominating. So I don't know how you get it, you know, but they'll. Uh, I agree with you, and you, you, you proved your point with logic, so it's unassailable. But I remind myself of this all the time. Jim Thorpe, American hero, was, uh, was going to race in the Olympics one time, and somebody stole his shoes. So he went to the trash and found two mismatched shoes, 
put them on and went out and won a gold medal. <laughs> so <laughs> right, I like if that. you're that guy, you can do no matter what the shoes or the conditions, you can do your fucking thing. So, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. it only. But in, again, in Super Bowl, it's the best of the best against the best. So fractions matter. Yeah, that's where you can make the argument that uh, did this 38 percent slippage. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, where did my Terry Bla- Bradshaw painted field thing come from? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> well, because he's, uh, up until this point, crazy everything that I had man. heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sam, can you can you? Can you I listen to people screaming to get Tara Bradshaw off there. My wife, my wife is the number one. I love yeah. him so much. He's so crazy. And now I kind of like, just crazy. leave him on there. Like, See okay. what else he'll say. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 Why not? What I had heard uh, up until this point, you asked me if I'd heard about this, this actual conspiracy. No, but I had heard about something about painting the field. Like, the way the field was painted was making uh, people slip. Jalen Hurt adjusts cleats. Terry Bradshaw rips NFL for field conditions. Yes, that's that, what it was. It was an embarrassment to that's the NFL uh, because I'm sure well, as they're watching... Well, then this old man screwed it all up. He did yeah, say he's retired, the, though. He said the NFL painted the field, and it's slippery, and I don't quite understand that. Yeah. That's and a direct he, quote. Yeah, yeah. He was on there. I watched that. He was well, like, hey, he, he Terry. He doesn't understand. He, they didn't. Terry. They, they used the ryegrass to, for the green. <laughs> He's a double day. Hey, oh. Terry, those numbers don't grow on the field. Yeah, they paint it. <laughs> <laughs> those flowers what? down there, those, those white yeah, not... flowers that are spelling out numbers are slippery. <laughs> <laughs> the end zone says yeah. Super Bowl. I suspect he, they painted he, he that grass. It, he thought it was the Epcot flowers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I think he doesn't understand how uh, <laughs> the, the, you know, they oh. do. The actual uh, field, but uh, so what I read, it was the rye grass that made it slippery because it holds water or whatever. He got knocked down a couple times too many in the seventies. He probably doesn't understand how shoes work oh, anymore. Yeah. Well, back then, there was no oh, like. My like, God, he barely wore a helmet. Do you, do you remember watching football in the nineties? And then when people get knocked out, everybody would laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like, oh wow, that guy got knocked out. They laugh. Like people would stand and mock. Like people would dance over them and la- you like. You got other- knocked the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a- and then uh, a right. guy gets like a it's compound like, oh. fracture, and they like rewind it and play it in slow motion with yeah, like yeah. a wheel with a slide whistle. Um, oh, uh, and we'll end. We'll stop talking about football after this, but this has to do with drugs, and uh, yes. and and I want to talk to Ross about this. So the story the story's been circulating around about Aaron Rodgers going to do this. Uh, you know, I think I think he's trolling the media too because he just talks about this shit, and then they they invent stories like Aaron Rodgers is going into this darkness retreat for <laughs> days and to make a decision whether he wants to keep playing football or not. The same shit for last year with the hi- ayahuasca and stuff. So apparently he's going to uh, some place in South America, I think. Although I don't understand why you'd have to travel down there. Like you could do it in like the hills of California, probably, right? You don't have to be in South America. Yeah, you yeah. do it in New York. Yeah, <laughs> apparently, yeah, according yeah. to mean, Neil Brennan, there's places around <laughs> yeah. here. But uh, anyway, he's going in a, this darkness retreat. Is like a hut that's completely blacked out. And they bring you in with a candle, and then uh, then they blow the candle out, and then you're in there for days, and they bring you food and water, and there's a toilet and a bath, and you stay in there uh, <laughs> in complete darkness for, like, days. Uh, and apparently you're supposed to have some sort of experience where you separate, you know, this is what, uh, you separate your your actual ego from who you really are, and you become a different person. This is a whole thing, you know. Like, I mean, so, and, so whether you go crazy is what <laughs> And then from going crazy or whatever, like this experience, then you are able to see or have some sort of clarity and make a better decision. It's bullshit. (laughs) Or whatever it is. I mean, yeah, whatever it is. The funny part is, like, like Aaron Rodgers, like, this has already been decided by lawyers and his agent. You know, there's also, he's up. We saw what Brady did. He no. retired, then he came back. Like, yeah, yeah but he knew. He, and I feel like he, he that was all planned out. Like, And that was for a specific reason. I don't think it goes... It could, but to me, there's so many people involved and so much money and the business. Yeah. And, like, you know, a $100 million business tied to Brady and all of a sudden Aaron Rodgers and stuff. Like, they, this has all been decided. They, also, he's under contract. So it's like, if he retires, he's out $25 million. And if all he has to do is... Get like show up to keep playing. He doesn't yeah. have to play well, and he's twenty. He's going to guarantee the twenty five million. Even know if he has to play, does he? 
Yeah, in fact, if he retires, it would be better for the Green Bay organization. I, th- I, think, I think it would be, they, yeah. you know, because they've already signed him under contract. So they're, you know, the only thing he'd be screwing himself if he retired. Correct, because so it, it's already guaranteed. It, it, so the story seems like a bunch of bullshit, and it's just the media wanting to be like, "Oh, he's going to this doctor's retreat." And oh, then he's going to make this a documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, he's yeah. possibly going to film the experience. Oh yeah, <laughs> you now he he better watch out because you can fuck around with psychedelics, especially ayahuasca and. And change yourself. Well, from what you I'm can... reading, he's not doing any drugs. Oh. He's just going to be in complete darkness for four days and nights straight and only eating once a day. Was he Chris Angel? I think he, I do <laughs> yeah. think he's one of those guys where he likes like challenging okay. himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, so, b- beyond anything, I think he's one of those guys that likes the attention of doing these type of yeah, things. Yeah, obviously, he's releasing this to the press. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, he does a lot of weird things. Yeah. Like, no one would choose to wear the haircut he had this year and, and unless you liked attention. So, I mean, he looked ridiculous. So, this is my question. Mm-hmm. To you, Ross, because I do believe that, uh, like, y- if you take a lot of edibles, right? I've done this, and then all of a sudden, yeah, like, yeah. I feel like I can think differently uh, when I'm super high. Now, it could just be the way I feel, and yeah. not it, it, based on nothing. It's just like you're super high, so you feel right. this way. Um, but uh, I, I do feel like it's like somehow. Uh, I'm not thinking like I normally do on a day to day, and then and then I'm able to think of things that do you I normally I just, wouldn't think of. You know how I describe that is no. that you're you're blo- like when I get that high, I'm able to like take out. It's not that I'm any more thoughtful. It's not that I'm accessing things that are magic. It's that I'm able to in that state focus like the distractions that normally would be breaking up these thoughts that you could still have yeah, if yeah, you yeah. could do it. All it's doing is like it's it's tuning that stuff out. It's like you're so high to me. This is just me. When I get mega high, it seems like background noise, TV, radio, whatever, brown noise, whatever just goes away. And then yeah, yeah. what's left is like me able to like concentrate or think. I don't know if the ideas are good. A lot of times I write them down. Some of them are. Like I'll tell you one of the ones I came up with that I thought was like a really good idea but I did it high was um writing songs. I can write songs like um uh better with their plain clothes on. Like I yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes it if makes I get, you more creative. Well you get in that flow state is what I think. You, it's it's not I don't that's again, I'm not more creative. I'm just able to take what I've already got and there's no distraction, so yeah, I'm able yeah, to yeah. write it all down. You're altering your consciousness, and there's a number of different ways to do that. You know, alcohol does it one way, where yeah, you yeah. kind of dull yourself. Right. So maybe you're thinking less. Right. And with uh, marijuana, with your LSDs, with your mushrooms, you're, you're thinking a lot more. And, you know, maybe it's like garbage like i remember one time like i had all the secrets of the world in the back of a playing card i'm staring at the fucking <laughs> back of a playing card and just like all the geometric intersections and everything made so much fucking sense and then i watched a documentary on mtv about how the beastie boys were the greatest band in the world and that made a lot of fucking sense too <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. and I, that, that probably continued for about two weeks and i was like all right yeah i'm over the beastie boys <laughs> so like you're altering your consciousness to yeah. a different place and you can do that again so many ways like this you if you do go in a dark room for four days you're gonna your consciousness is gonna adapt to like produce entertain you and make you think and stuff you yeah. know like oh, me and my wife took a paddle down the fucking uh, oh I thought you were gonna do sex something sexy <laughs> me and my wife got the swing out and started paddling no uh, we took a paddle down the fucking uh, run at uh, King's Landing the other day and like just out in the woods away from everybody just fucking uh, otters and alligators and yeah. birds and shit that alters your consciousness too and you like you start to notice different things I remember thinking that it's all just green just yeah. different. It's <laughs> yeah, also yeah, yeah. green. So now my question being, if you do have this experience, because I, I do think there's some validity in this where it's like thinking differently could help you yeah. make a decision or look look at it differently. Right? I, I will agree with you in that. But, we've talked about my anxiety and if I could ra- wrangle one of these type of, of uh, retreats oh, yeah. or something, if it would like help me. And I'm going to agree with you and say that I do think... There's a possibility that it can help me forever. I've been told by people if I microdose mushrooms, it could help me. Although, we need to look up that story about that mushroom. Did you put that in your news, the mushroom no. story? I'll pull it for you. Okay. You might want to add it. It's So, my question being, when you're in this altered state and you're thinking differently and you and then it's like an epiphany yeah. where it's like, oh, I should retire because of this. But And then that decision, though, should you... Wait, or should you use that decision when you're in your non-altered state in normal life? Because 
or is it a decision you came up with in this altered state, Ooh. which makes only makes sense only in that altered like, state? Because you're able to see past, like, yeah, because like when you're not, I don't when think he's uh, going to be calling up Roger Goodell from the retreat. That's sure, a lot of time no. to reflect. He well, should, though. This, I mean, I don't even believe that that this is actually how he's making this decision. He, no, 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 no. he even came out and said that they misrepresented yeah. what he said. Hey, he was just, like, "I'm just going there for course. my life. Sure, I'll think about important things in my life, and that's part of it." But I see, might have the most dominant story of all time for you. That okay. ties into this. All right. uh, okay, so one time, this is, I think I was working for you guys at this time, and uh, like I was doing mushrooms pretty much every day, but just a little bit, a little, little pinch of mushrooms in the morning, okay. cup of coffee, a little bit of mushrooms. Oh, I bet that makes you shit your um, brain down, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't even hear that's yeah, yeah. what my, I'm sorry, I'm a filthy, I'm a bad person, yeah. but every time, like you said mushrooms and some coffee, and I'm like, if it's anything <laughs> like a cigarette and some coffee, because a cigarette and a coffee, and man, I can empty everything, I'll, I'll lose 10 pounds. What do you take, uh, like uh, some mushroom dust? Or Maybe a like a caps? quarter of a cap, or, or just a, like a stem. Mushroom or dust. Or and, well, then, and then just chew it, kind of chew it, and then maybe like pouch it for a minute, like some tobacco, what? and then like wash it down with some coffee. You get the juice out. Yeah, okay. correct. Yeah, yeah. And so like it's just a little, and all it does, it gives you like a little, little, little bit of a bounce, and like maybe like if you get into trail land, you've gone a little bit too far. But, oh, yeah. Yeah. Trail land. <laughs> I want to go to trail land. I don't even know. Yeah. They're driving. Yeah, they don't know <laughs> until you get trail there. Land. There's a sign. Oh yeah, and then at some point, I found a guy who was selling these mushroom candies, like little heart candies with the oh. gram of mushrooms in them, uh, like. Chocolate, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, grandma mushrooms. Like, do you like a quarter of one of those to get your morning going right? It was yeah. good. So. I, I well, hold on, I mean, right to you is, yeah. is wrong, might be wrong to me. I'm like, I can't get Maisie to school. You know what though? At one one day, I did I this. Pack her lunch. I did this for like 18 months, and one day I had like a little heart, and I was like, not interested. And I, I haven't done mushroom since really. I don't think. I don't think I've really? done mushroom since. Yeah, I just it, literally the one thing in my life Your I've brain ever just said no to drugs. <laughs> yeah, the one time I was just I've like never said no to the drugs. one thing that ever happened. <laughs> That's the difference between you and me. But this is this story is more about yes. So at some point, uh, somebody I, I had these little candies and I was and like I said I had it dialed in. I was real good with those. Somebody gave me like a homegrown mushroom and I was like, all right, let's see uh, what's up ho- with this. Homemade's always better. <laughs> Oh. And you so, need to get you one of Miss Lucy's homemade <laughs> mushrooms, baby. So I get, uh, I get. It's a weekday. I get the kids off to school, and I'm like, uh, I'm in my, in my mind. I'm like, at the end of the day, I'll just walk to school, pick them up. No big deal. I'll like have this. I'll have, fucking pop this mushroom, clean the house, watch some fucking Family Guy, have a hell of a day. Wow, that sounds amazing. Walk to pick the kids up at the end of the day, and it'll be all good. And uh, so I ate this thing. I sat down. I'm smoking a bowl or something. And uh, I was like, you know what? I'm going to sneak a jerk off in real quick before this gets started. <laughs> Hold on. This <laughs> took a turn. <laughs> Hold on. You're like, uh, I don't expect this kind of filth from Ross. I'm in. I'm uh, in. We're going to we're gonna go deep, too. So, yeah, maybe, uh, yeah, to put, to put your kids to bed or whatever. Sneak a jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> jerk off. You'll like this, stand. It was a Mia Khalifa video. Okay. I mean, the classics at this point, right? I uh, mean, it's like, yeah, she says she swears she was only in 40 videos, or excuse me, four videos, although there's 100 online. <laughs> That happens. Get up. I, I'm going to smoke another bowl or something, but I start to feel funny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. You walked to school <laughs> naked with a boner, didn't you? It must have been the jerk on the video. Oh, my God. I thought the jerk on made me sick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I go and lay down. I'm like, I got to have a lay down to get my head yeah. straight. <laughs> and Proper lay down. This is when I started to be visited by entities. <laughs> like, no, oh, Ross, it's me, me a Khalifa. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Hold your fire. I, I think the first entity that came to me was God. Okay? Oh, that's the ghost and of Christmas whack. <laughs> I had a nice little chat with God. The and jerk th- as big as me. <laughs> and then the devil came to talk to me, Hello, and the bro. devil was dressed as Mia Khalifa. Oh, God. The devil. Oh, okay, all right. And uh, one of the things. <laughs> Hello, Ross. It is me. I'm not going to do that to you. And so one of the things that was communicated to me was that if I ever turned off to a Mia Khalifa video, again, I would die. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. If you wow. ever. <laughs> yeah. so weird. Very specific. Uh, that Tuesday uh-huh. afternoon? <laughs> it's Mushroom Tuesday. <laughs> and again, this is the beginning. This was oh, like... the beginning? This oh. is just, this is just Did starting. Did you even and get then, the jerk off in? What's that? Did you get the jerk off Oh, in? yeah, yeah. That all okay, happened. Right, right. well, that all happened. Came. Yeah. Are you scared your wife's going to call your... <laughs> because I, that's what I like. When I get too high, I'm, I'm like, telling I'm you, I thought no. I had it dialed in, and then I got this homegrown mushroom. And I, and again, I laid down in the bed. God came to me. The devil came to me. Told me if I ever jerked off from the I would die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you. And then 
I don't know, five hundred more different entities visited me over the court. They would just Ooh, they that, kept I don't I they kept do coming and they'd be like, Hey, I'm the entity of this and they'd explain themselves and talk to me and we'd Hello. have a little adventure together. And at some point I fell asleep. It's me, Jenny I, Jizz from the Sausage <laughs> Castle. I'm so sick of sucking off homeless vets. I, I like doing it because they're good people, but man are they disgusting. It's a way. So at some point I woke up and I like I was still fucked up, but I, I I was like straight enough to like get up, get a glass of water, looked at the, my watch. It was time to pick up the kids. So I walked. <laughs> oh, perfect timing. <laughs> walked. Thank you, Mia Khalifa. <laughs> walked to the fucking school, picked scared. my kids up, made them a fucking PBJ. What about my day? I have never. I scroll right past me. Yeah. Three videos to this day. I will do <laughs> to this day. I will now. Dead it sober. Changed, uh, change your brain. Dead sober. The straight in my right head. Maybe this will help him make a decision. I, let me make an addendum. <laughs> I can scroll past everyone except for the one. Where she's dressed like a terrorist. <laughs> I have <laughs> the well, one. The one where she's yeah. got the headdress on. I have to watch it. That, that, well, it's a good point that it made you now fear something absurd <laughs> that is not real, right? Uh, I was given a bit of information <laughs> by whatever, by God or the devil, whatever you want to call it, or Never. Maybe just by one my brain. Same. One in the same. If it's just my brain, perhaps the scariest option, because then that's in there. And maybe my brain can make it happen. Who fucking knows? Brain is powerful. Or, it really or, is. Or it's a crazy hallucination. Or and, and, and I was now. all wigged out on drugs. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't matter. It's one of those two yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. Uh, <laughs> I believe the fact that it like uh, kills your anxiety, or if you're like, it kind of rewires the way you. Because you're like, it. if I can get through that, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I wonder like, if that's what it is. is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there's a little bit of that. But but making a uh, a decision though, is, I think, is a little too far fetched. It's like uh, you know, treat. Yourself because of Ross something. made his decision. He's never jerking off again. In uh, well, I mean, and not being mean to her, but there's a lot of other newer and fresher faces yeah, out there. There's that, plenty of options that, that might need some eyes on them. You know, you've had your 15 minutes of fame, and you seem to be doing well. And I wish you well. And I don't have a lot of experience with it, but I've heard ayahuasca is the one that will make you like change your mind after. It'll, it'll put you through some shit. Yeah, yeah. You'll dredge some stuff up from your past, and you'll come out of it being like, oh, God, i got to change this, this, and this. Well, or, wait a minute. Is that like EMDR therapy, though? Because that's you're basically describing what I did with no drugs, just holding those stupid buzzers that I don't fully understand. I don't think it's quite as yeah, yeah. extreme as yeah, ayahuasca. Yeah. That, you're, that's Advil to fentanyl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, yeah, but I mean, the bu- that won't kill your headache. But wouldn't you? <laughs> but, uh, but I guess what I would say though is that I would rather do something that's not chemically pushing me to mm. do something like this. If if I can use my own, it's almost like that. Uh, it's like stem cells, right? So if I can use something that's natural that I'm in control of that isn't necessarily going to rewire me, right? Because I'm okay with being rewired. I don't necessarily want to be rewired if I don't need to be. Is there a possibility that you could ingest ayahuasca and be rewired when you you literally didn't need that? Can you be rewired in a in a in a wrong I mean, way? SSRIs kind of do that though. I right? mean, yeah, well, they can put you in a I, wrong place. Though. Sure, I feel like though your so brain it, it, is the, is controlling everything, and it's gonna you're you're gonna be, because the, again, all the stories I hear are positive, and with all the positive, you think there would be a a, a landslide of negative of like, hey, I did this, and you know, the, the most negative I've heard is it didn't work. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's like positive or it doesn't work, or you just had an experience and you're kind of the yeah, same. You might you're like, yeah. shit your brains out. Yeah, I'm glad yeah. I went through it. <laughs> I shit my brains out every day. So well, there you go. I mean, no, maybe it's it'll fine. stop me from shitting. And it maybe it's self selected because I'm kind of like you, Dan. I'm like, what is it going to bring up? And like, do I want that gone? I don't know. Maybe I, want, maybe I like well, my neuroses. I, I, well, I mean, for me, yeah. I mean, there yeah. is a little bit of like being concerned about that because like I do, there's certain things that I do like about the my anxiety. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still. Still on my my path, right? But if you're like a football player, and part of it is like aggression from I don't know some childhood trauma or something, and you come away without that, and suddenly you're not aggressive anymore, it could impact your football career. True. Yeah. I mean, think Maybe about that's what's been going on with Aaron. Think about how simple it is when someone has a near death experience, or we need to talk to Seth, or about gets that. over cancer or something. Like they usually have a different outlook on life after. Dude, and I they, almost got hit by a truck the other day, and it, boy, I was peppy for the whole rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's sometimes right? happy. It went. Oh. Yeah. It wears off just like no, it's gone. The it's gone. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but it's like so the that, whole rest of the day. I was like, oh, clouds are beautiful. So that <laughs> kind of makes sense to me. Like every.
everybody talks about how they appreciate life more after a near death experience yeah. or whatever. So it's kind of like it probably in the same Venn diagram of that. It's like you had this weird, crazy experience that you thought maybe you would die and then you come out of it uh, better on the other side. But again, it probably does wear off. Like you have to keep doing it. Uh, I'm the type of person, though, where with ayahuasca and people explaining their ayahuasca trips makes me think I'm like. You're just saying that because you want the attention. There's a part of me that says that when they're like, oh, it did this, and oh, it did that. Like when but people, only specifically that drug? No, no, no all, all everything. When you come to me and you go, oh, you got to try this because of X, if you're like really over the moon about it, I'm usually like, nah, I don't know. I think you're just saying that because you, like, you want the The, the counterpoint to that about ayahuasca is that everybody comes to you and is like, it will make you vomit and diarrhea first. But I like, <laughs> like, yeah, I like that. Can they, yeah. ha- can they make one without that? <laughs> like, uh, why does it have to be that? New ayahuasca diet Wish diarrhea like free. Was she like better? <laughs> yeah. I just don't. I don't want to throw up and diarrhea myself. See, but it's about getting all that poison out of you, and you got some physical poison in you too. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> and if you're Ross, you throw up, you diarrhea, and you sneak in a wank real fast. <laughs> right? You got to sneak in a meal, like yeah, yeah. I can, can you get the poison out without diarrhea? No, it's the only way. Okay. You got to get, you gotta get all the poison which out, would you out of your brain, do? out of your ass. What'd you rather do, <laughs> diarrhea or vomit? Probably oh, well, he does, yeah, he doesn't like vomiting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so you like so you, like my my son Max has a irrational fear of vomiting. Every day he's like, I'm thinking about vomiting. Every day, what? Almost every day. He like every night if he like uh, like when he goes to sleep, like I'm thinking that's about vomiting. And, yeah, no, oh, I know. I'm like, God. stop, stop. <laughs> so scream at him that's how I saw the <laughs> stuff in and my house, it's, it's in his brain I'm like this is crazy I'm glad to see that you're finally adopting my ways of parenting which is just to scream in their face until does they he, stop doing it does like, he gag does he like uh, uh. no no he's oh. just he's afraid of vomiting or seeing in the middle of vomit. his night in the middle of the yeah, night yeah I'm just or? like you're not gonna vomit he's just af- uh, so afraid anxiety, of it right? show him that yeah. scene from Stand By Me get it out of get out <laughs> no, of no. Oh, oh, oh he sees God. movies he runs away uh, people <laughs> oh, vomiting it's people vomiting yeah or he's afraid of doing it himself. He just doesn't like vomiting. Is there anything that triggers his vomiting, like a smell? Or yeah, he hasn't vomited in years. Does uh, he think it is like in cartoons when like a when like a hose spray <laughs> of green fluid yeah. comes out of your mouth? Does he think that's what happens? He he's done it before. He just doesn't like it, and he's afraid of it. And it's got to be what I grew up with because I you know I always hated vomiting, and therefore like I was fourteen years God, I went on pro, run without I'm pro vomiting. vomiting. You know, like, I uh, love the feeling I, of diarrhea and vomiting. Both of those are feelings that I like. Diarrhea doesn't bother me. <laughs> that's uh, that's better than hard poop. I've said it before, <laughs> yeah, right? I uh, hard poop rips your butthole. Yeah. bleed. <laughs> like, the diarrhea. I, I, I like it. Right? There's there's a happy medium there. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, everybody happy. wants How that. How hard happy. is your hard poop? I, oh, so you know, no dehydrated yeah. crazy. Uh, 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 Mike Tyson says spit <laughs> yeah. bucket down there. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, <laughs> it's bad. Hard poop. Poops are like diamonds. Man. All right, let's uh, let's take a break. When we come back, Ross has got some news for us. We got some dump them out topics. Uh, what music do we? Yes, got we do. We got the new name. tunes by Mike Tyson. Spit <laughs> yeah, Not a bad punk band. Uh, the name of the artist is Hold Fast. The name of the song is Everything's Wrong. Actually, everything wrong. Sorry, not everything's wrong. We'll be right back. One eight four four T O M N D A N for our call. Show at Tom and Dan. Dot com for emails. We'll be right back. You know, I just I just noticed something funny. If you go to our friends at AmericanAirAndHeat.com yep. and you look at the very top, the now their Statue of Liberty is now saying, ah. <laughs> like, oh, <man. laughs> because it's the, finally cool. Even the Statue of Liberty knows that yeah, yeah. living in Florida without an AC that is properly maintained, um, that it, that is not cooling correctly, can be miserable. And yeah. uh, and then you'll uh, you'll literally you'll be as hot as their torch. I'm, I'm telling you, talk to them. Uh, look into getting a complete system, uh, a new system, like I did. Daniel did. Yeah. I I got new duct work through my whole house. It runs more efficiently. It saves me tons of money. Um, um, but now I have a return in every single room of the house. It's sucking the hot air out, yeah. and it's it, it just cools my house more efficiently. Plus, uh, the system, the actual unit itself, is super efficient because it's new technology. If you're running, like, a 15-year-old system, yeah. I mean, look, time goes by, and you're like, oh, I bought this house. Oh, I did buy this house 10 years ago, and yeah. then the AC was, uh, like, uh, 8 years old at the time. Well, go it's out like and listen 20 to 20 years it. old. It's got the one, the old rusty yeah. fan that's like, kang, 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 it's yeah, banging yeah. 
on the outside. No, go and you get. There's plenty of financing options that they have for yeah, you, yeah. so it'll take the sting out a little bit. Um, plus, once you get uh, that new system, you're going to want to do maintenance to it to make sure that it lasts you a very long time. And that's one of the things they specialize in. Yeah, 24 point maintenance, uh, preventative maintenance. So if your system right now so it doesn't break down, get it serviced by American Air and Heat. And again, if you're looking for a full system or any work at all, you can get 10% off if you use promo code BDM or Tom and Dam. Just let them know you're a listener. Yep. And they'll give you 10% off everything. Uh, so if you want anything related to your air conditioning system fixed or a new system, anything, it's AmericanAaronHeat.com. That's my bad. I was reading an email of something we had to do, requirements <laughs> for something. And I was like, "Oh goddamn! I didn't know we were trying to do that." And then I was like, "I don't That's think fine. It, I was like, "I don't think I know how to do that." And then we we're supposed to pin a comment on our Twitter or something, and I don't know how to do that. I was freaking what? out. Mm. Sorry, I was starting to have uh, anxiety. Welcome back to a mediocre time with Tom. This is uh, this why is, you should take ayahuasca. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, need, I, need, I, need I need the ayahuasca. All right, welcome let, back, everybody. Let's do some Ross news. All right, I got to get his song the the loudest and most. Uh, mm. Oh, it's the news. Hold on, yeah, I want to yeah, do yeah. that correctly. Hold on, let me go to the news one. Here we are, and there. Ross's piece of shit news. Ross's news brought to you by. Injured on the go, just call Mo. And Tots with Ross, the Orlando talk show with Ross McCoy. You could download it anywhere yes. where podcasts are found. Ross, what do we got here? Motivate advertises everywhere, you guys. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, he does. I, Has he done a park bench? I heard a Motivate ad on the way here. I was listening to a The Weekend CD. Whoa. <laughs> He's made it big time. Wow, look at that. Mo's great. Uh, speaking of, uh, Mo might have been able to do this if the case had come to him. Uh, let's go to California. A uh-huh. uh, man uh, arrested, drunk driving, uh, blew a point oh eight, And uh-huh. I don't know what the limit is in California, but that's got to be close, right? That's like borderline. That, yeah. I thought the, isn't it Florida 08, uh, point zero eight is like I think the limit? Point, point zero eight is what I thought. Like, if you, I, cause I, I think it's one beer, right? And like, I don't know why I'm seeing in the same article his blood alcohol was point one one. So, so somewhere in that range. He oh, was, well, he that's was, a, a lot yeah, more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, drunk. Uh, so he, drunk driving, arrested for it. He got off. Tom, okay. it's the Holy Grail. It's the it's what you've been searching for all, all this time. Right. All right. Emergency whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> it's even better than emergency whiskey. So apparently, this dude was chilling at his side chick's house, having a couple drinks with her when his wife showed up. Okay. His wife and his side chick began to assail him. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't say. Both. It says both women became enraged. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, he felt that in order to prevent uh, emotional or physical damage to himself, he needed to drive away. I uh, pulled over, fell asleep, and uh, the judge agreed that that was a reasonable. Uh, that was reasonable. What? <laughs> Oh, what a cool job! Oh, yeah. That well, guy's awesome. On. That's the coolest Can judge you in the just world. Do whatever you want. America's <laughs> coolest judge, I Judge thought, Jerry. Wait, is, uh, is, gonna follow the law. No, no so you're putting other law. people in danger. No, he, he could have ran away. His no, lawyer no. argued that he did not create a greater danger than the one he avoided. No. Wow, That's you're a good right, attorney. He took himself <laughs> no, out of the situation, on. and then cool judge was like, "Not guilty." <laughs> Do you think it's the where people like judges just get bored and they're like, well, you know what? I'm going to go against what I normally do this time. Like, I yeah, because that seems like the dumbest excuse. It would never work in a million years. Right. Like, because but it wasn't so true. Many, but was it true? Even if it was, it was true. But there's like, hey, even if you were. Uh, leaving a dangerous situation, you are then causing another dangerous situation. Right. Like Sam was saying, by driving, and, you could have killed an innocent person. You were cheating on your wife. And he clearly must have not been driving well if he got pulled over, right? Uh, you sleeping. Uh, you're yeah, you're assuming him. that. That's not facts. We don't yeah. know that to be true. This man is a hero. And doesn't everybody know? Well, how did they know he was drunk driving? This man was a hero well, for pulling they, over. They found him asleep in his car. Oh, God. And everybody knows, and this is an old Florida legend, that if you sleep in your car on the side of the road, you throw your car, your ki- yeah. car no, keys you in the 
the bushes. Still get around two guys away. <laughs> and uh, as long as the keys, I think that is a loophole. As long as the keys aren't anywhere near the vehicle, then they cannot prove that you were driving and you will get off. What if you put the keys on the dashboard with a note that says, no. here are my keys? No, they no, no. can't be in your possession. And if you know where they're at, they're in your possession, unless they're sufficiently far away. Yeah, yeah. So that's why you're throwing them outside, uh, which is, I feel like. It's Don't do that. <laughs> no. it's a, Man, I found some juicy details on this story. What? So the lady, I guess she <laughs> owns llamas that she kept on their ranch, and that's how they know each other. And literally, the wife walked in while he was performing oral sex on her. <laughs> oh, he was uh, going down on her? Oh, oh that's the, rough. The, the, the llama. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> this got real weird. I, I don't want to be crass, but I don't <laughs> know how you go down on a llama. <laughs> was it a male or female llama? <laughs> that makes a difference. Does it? Does yeah, it, make it does difference? easier to go down on a male that, llama. That makes a difference it's in the easier. story. Anyway, anyway. Yeah, anyway. Llama clitters has two L's, though. <laughs> that's correct. Uh, so, what state is this in? Uh, California. Oh. Yeah. Weird. You think in California, like uh, guilty? You know, if this is Texas or Alaska. I'll be like, all oh, right. California is like uh, California is just like everywhere else. There's a bunch of liberals in the cities, and then there's a bunch of different people. I, yeah, yeah, this is not a ranch, dude. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. immediately thought of what would be harder for the man and woman to cover up fellatio, or the man and woman to cover up cunnilingus. And I think fellatio is harder because of a ding dong. Yeah, yeah. Right. Because of the moving, you could yeah. you could do the kind of lingus. Still. You just turn around and you're like, "What yeah. do you want?" Plus, if you have a boner, right? As opposed to, I have a boner during kind of lingus, though. <laughs> okay, I just want to point that out. I don't I have to talk. <laughs> oh. Don't ever say don't that. Say that. Horrible that thing to say. Oh, yeah, I'm just like, uh, it's Yuck. like work. <laughs> My God, it's like breaking rocks. When do I get a break? It's like being in the mines. <laughs> now, what about this time? Let's say you uh, it's uh, it's a Friday night. You've had a few pops. You're just a hair over the legal limit to. Drive. Oh, yeah. that's every time. He's probably over that now, <laughs> just some vapors. Crystal's down in Miami with her parents. Oh. You're watching the kids. One of the kids. That never happened. She wouldn't trust him. One of the kids stubs his toe, breaks his big toe. Oh. There's no ambulances available, but you got to get your kid to the hospital. One yeah, wheel. Yeah, yeah. One wheel. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I you drive. Hold him, okay. like, hold him like baby Jesus and one wheel him. I drive. So you get pulled over. You get a DUI. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Do you think the judge should show you mercy in this instance? or Hold on. Pause. In mm-hmm. this example, do they take the kid in an ambulance after he's been tased and the DUI happens well, to... State trooper just chops the toe off with a pair of, <laughs> with a pair of uh, choppers. I, if it was... <laughs> A an emergency. Yes, I feel like I like a life threatening emergency. Then I should which, be. Which yeah. your definition of that for Max and Tommy is a hang. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's, yeah, go yeah. Ant, let's go ant bite. Ant bite. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, he, he like I I I hit him with the uh, crystal's sister uh, bit the kid. <laughs> <laughs> the epipen, and I have to get him to the hospital. Yeah, you got uh, like fifteen drunk. twenty minutes. Sure. Um, I, now you could make the argument that you're actually endangering his life more driving drunk fast to the hospital than uh, after the epipen. It's like, you know, yeah. percentage-wise, the drunk driving is more dangerous. So I, if they hit me with the logic of that and just the math of, like, percentage-wise... Like, sir, sir, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> then, because, like, you emotionally think this is okay, but uh, as far as saving your son's life, you're actually putting his life in more danger. Uh, unless wow. you didn't have the EpiPen and you're like, you needed to get him to the hospital, like then now. it goes opposite. Right. Yeah, so it's case by case, but I see what you're saying. I can't believe this guy got off. Like, yeah, that's it's absurd. It's absolutely crazy. Um, it's the holy grail. It's what you've been looking for all these years. <laughs> I wonder if we could probably can't talk to this guy or the judge or anything. He Damn. probably doesn't want to rub it in everybody's face, yeah. <laughs> especially God, the cops. So I he likes rubbing his face and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. 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 You know, I need to. Are talk- you naked? Do you think he was naked when he did that? He was not. He had a t-shirt and boxer shorts on. <laughs> oh, you don't. You don't. You do not Say go down you on your wife. With I read bo- this article. <laughs> well, I don't like. I do not do that. I am. F- I am nude when she is every nude. time. Yeah. Yeah. Totally every, nude? Every t- yeah, like I'll be nude. yeah, because I'm going to get a boner while I'm doing it, and I have to tuck that between my legs like Pikachu. No, mm-hmm. come on. Uh, he took it down? Ross knows. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, or up. Dep- I mean, depends on what stage it's in. It's usually in a three-quarter. Yeah, but it can't be in the boxer briefs. It's, that's right. untenable. Yeah, Ross, yeah, this guy knows. This guy fucks. <laughs> What's he the knows. next story, Ross? Uh, I got some parrot news for you, Tom. Yes. Uh, I think this was a guy out walking his parrot. <laughs> No, I okay. They do walk. That's a, a lot of people don't know that they walk. Oh, I'm, I thought you walk with it on your shoulder. No, so they need oh, to be exercised. Okay. And your wife would say, "Oh, it's good. Oh, He's God, the slowest yeah. walk ever." Actually, uh, he took uh, he took this parrot and a macaw out for a fly. 
it oh. says here in this article. Sounds very British when he said, I'm taking him out for a fly. Uh, the, the parrot attacked a man who was jogging nearby, made him fall, and fracture his pelvis. Oh, man, what a oh. pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, I mean, you want to immediately yell at that man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's he old? Like, you fractured your pelvis? I don't know. Birds are scary. Uh, I like watching birds attacking people videos. <laughs> They're funny. Even when that eagle attacked Trump in the White House, that was funny. <laughs> birds are scary. I w- if an eagle attacked me, I'd do the same thing. I'd be like, ah! Because birds are terrifying. If dude. they beat chomp you, I it's mean, terrifying. it will hurt like a motherfucker. So it is conceivable to me that anybody in this room, and I don't want to be mean, but I just think if yeah. any of us was being attacked by a bird and we were running from it and we slipped on a curb and fell over, there's a possibility to get hurt. No, I've been jogging lately, and the possibility of just like falling and breaking myself That's is true. omnipresent without That's fucking that, bird attacks. You know, with no birds, yeah. it's still a thing. Yeah, Although, you're right. Although, what does a bird weigh? It's like uh, 17 it's ounces. Sharp. <laughs> it's sharp, dude. Knives yeah. are light, right. but if but they're flying through the air, right. it's a flying knife. Right, yeah. It's a flying knife. But I, I feel like if you got one good swat, I mean, you'd kill it instantly with a. Uh, yeah, you but, know, it, but, <laughs> you're, but you like, don't. Quit covering your head and running away. Just swat at it. Your, your weight will kill it. I don't think humans realize how slow their punches or their swats are. Like, you think your swats like, yeah, and then you got it, but it's really, like, ooh, you know, and then yeah. the bird's like, Whoa. That move where you, you go to hit the fly, and the fly just goes, nyeh, 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 oh, a big the fly move. around your hand. Yeah, no, imagine a parrot does the same fucking thing and then pecks your eye out, dude. <laughs> you like an old man when you're like, flies can move no, now, I, boy. Listen, <laughs> who's got the most parrot experience here? This man, <laughs> yeah. this man does. I was just right. saying, I've, the parrots that I've seen, I, yeah. they're, they're clumsy, and they're all, they've got a fatty livers from eating too many you're almonds. You're talking about uh, Bubba. <laughs> oh, that's maybe and they that weren't thing, yeah. That thing's know. got yellow Michael Jordan eyes in his <laughs> <laughs> slow. These are, sounds like he may be ill. <laughs> these are clipped American parrots, though, that you're talking about. This guy's got a prime grade Taiwanese fighting parrot. Mm. It hangs out with a macaw, so you know it's rough right off the bat, right? Yeah. And then uh, this uh, this guy's jogging, so I imagine the parrot came at him probably from the blind side, uh, you know, uh, fucking Japanese zero style. Come from the sun, so you can't see him, <laughs> and just zoom in, uh, knocked him down, yeah, broke yeah. his fucking pelvis. So Jeez. then, so is it like a dog? Bite were uh, dog bite. <laughs> well, I'm saying you are now responsible for this person. He's suing for record. money. There is also some question of should the parrot be put down? Oh, put down. like a pit bull. <laughs> should well, this I mean, murderous <laughs> bird? Yeah, Come put on. them all down. You got to put them all. Down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're just like pit bulls. <laughs> pit bulls parrots starts with a P. Put it down. Well, you got to keep your animal on the leash of yeah, some sort, right? Uh, like, uh, how do you fly your fucking macaw on a leash? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> are uh, there people? That have birds where they release their bird into the yeah, wilderness. Dude, and it, Mike and it, Tyson. And it pigeons. goes around. I'm not saying pigeons don't count. <laughs> okay. Are there people that take their domesticated, beautiful, tropical, like, it's like a showpiece, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically a Jimmy Buffett like stuffed animal. Yeah, a big ass. And you're macaw. launching it into the, and then it flies around, and then it comes back to you. Are there people that do that? I gotta think be. So, gotta be. Usually with parrots and those big like uh, you know those kind of birds, their wings are clipped so they don't fly. Uh, you know. But my point is, is that like, and this kind of goes back to what you're saying. If the wing, if the bird's wings weren't clipped, it'd fly away from you. Like, why are you keeping it? Uh, that kind of goes to my point. Are there people that the bond with the bird is so strong where the bird goes out? Does bird things as a regular bird, non clipped, and then comes back and they're and he's like, Thank you. It comes into the house. He's like, Good to see you. Nice day. Had a good day out. I mean, I know they do it. I know we're not talking about pigeons, but that's a, they have the raised pigeons and they'll fly far as shit yeah, yeah. and then stay somewhere and then fly back or whatever. Like, uh, they'll fly to other states and things. Like, uh, so I maybe with crows, like crows are super smart. Bot 10 know. art in our YouTube channel says, Yes, I know a person that does that with his bird. See, I think. If I had a bird, that'd be the way to do it because I don't know why that's attractive to me. I can't explain most of the shit in my brain. But having a bird and being able to release it and let it fly all around and just be a bird and then fly back to you... But then the, every that, good cartoon hero in the '80s had some sort of hawk or eagle to do his bidding. You're right. Would perch on his shoulder and look majestic, and then yeah. fly and do like yeah, reconnaissance yeah. on Skeletor or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> fly, <laughs> fly. Give me a oh, like telepathically show me what you're seeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're for right. sure. It's the best. Oh, I'm just a dumb child, bro. <laughs> <laughs> There's some sort of like uh, tribes that hunt with like some sort of falcons yeah. on their shoulders oh, yeah, and like yeah. on horseback. Wait and- a whole. 
whole tribe of humans that hunt no, only with birds because that's fucking yes, cool. Yes, and they use the birds, and the birds will fly off and then go and subdue some sort of like animal, a fox or a small, like a big ass mammal. Where's this some documentary? Sort. And uh, it's all over the internet. Oh, I'm and into it. it. And oh, then I gotta get on that. It'll yeah, basically yeah. just hold it down because it's so big. It like and then until Andrea you get there said to next kill year, we can get the internet. <laughs> it's a crazy shit. Middle East. They'll do hawks. They'll do eagles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. trained eagles, dude. They'll take down like fucking. And gazelles right. and shit. There's, in the Middle East, they take down eagles. <laughs> yeah. I heard about that. They, I heard about there that. Are bring giant, our home. <laughs> there are giant eagles and hawks and shit with like uh, six foot, eight foot wingspan. You ever been to a giant one? eagle? That's just for Pittsburgh people. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next story, Ross. <laughs> Next story. Let's go to New Jersey. Uh, uh, Bruce Springsteen. Speaking of 80s uh, comedy premises, uh, a lady got arrested for posing as a high school la- a woman. 29 year old woman. <laughs> 21 Jump Street. <laughs> Young Jong Shin Jump Street. used a fake uh, identification document enrolled at New Brunswick High School. Uh, she got away from it for like four or five days before somebody found out how old she was. I can tell any woman, I can tell whether, I can tell, I can get within two years of your age. <laughs> any woman. Well, I mean, there are people Have you that seen look Dan, No, new... I just got to see your hands. Uh, uh, that's, a, that's a secret. If you can look at anybody's <laughs> hands... There's a right, new, you'll, you you see that? There's you, a new yeah. TikTok video trend where like a 19 year old girl walks up to the camera and the guy's like, "Hey, how old are you? Let's kiss." And she's like, 44. These, and it's, yeah. it's got to be just to enrage women. <laughs> yeah, there's, <laughs> there's, there's yeah, but it's the one I exists. saw was too egregious. It was like <laughs> yeah. the look on their face when I tell them I'm 60. And yeah. then she turns around and she literally looks like my wife. Yeah. And I'm like, well, that's <clears throat> obviously fake. <laughs> You know what's weird is that uh, we, I've never heard of a story, and speaking of like 21 Jump Street, of like someone sneaking their way back into high school and like assimilating themselves into like me no, neither. You know, or like we, never been kissed. Remember that movie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I, I, I but, think that as much as we like to yell at our teachers and our school system, I think it's virtually impossible for an adult. To go, pretend to be a child, and then go to class and like meander around campus without somebody finding you and kicking you off. Uh, Four days, she got away with it, went to classes, uh, spent time with guidance counselors. Uh, Before she got arrested, some students said the woman had texted them asking to hang out. And then uh, then when uh, it says here, the girls never showed up, she started acting weird. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, that's what any girl would do. Maisie uh, told me this morning that her friend said they were going to wait by the bike rack and wait for her before they walked in to get school lunch, or school breakfast, rather, because Maisie uh, eats breakfast at our house, and then she wants to go and eat second breakfast at school. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's an athlete. Yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous. That free breakfast. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she likes a free breakfast. And I make fun of her for doing that, but, uh, but then she was like, and they didn't wait for me. They lied. And I was like, well... <laughs> You know, like people wanted they to go in and, and get, yeah, they were ready to they go didn't in get first and, and do that kind of stuff. And she was like, and then she, and she goes, and the rest of the day, they acted weird. Aww. Just like this lady. Like this lady, that's what happens. Maybe because you were making that face at them, maybe. Although, <laughs> like, yeah, that mad pissed off face. Like, say you look It looks at, exactly like your father. We've known plenty of people that look abnormally young, right? Yeah. And say Dude, you're, you're one of those people. Like, at 25... Yeah, but he, he's not looking like he's in high school. Yeah, but at 41, at, at tw- it, that guy does not... You do not look 41. At, at, at 23 years old, I could have pro- I could have passed as a high school student. Yeah, you yeah, could have yeah, done 15, like, 16. Yeah. Uh, 1993 Glasgow, a 30-year-old man claimed to be a 17-year-old from Canada, remained in, uh, enrolled in the school for a whole year. God damn. Andrea, when I first started dating her, how old was she? 23? I, think, I don't know. I well, think so. Well, I think she was asking 20, me because you're a wife. But, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, well, don't get mad at me. But like when you when you looked at her when I first started dating her, she looked so young. Oh my God, man. I don't like, know if you just uh, say that. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> no, right, yeah. it was weird. I see old pictures. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, I, I, Check her ID. Yeah, look. but why is that bad? She's of age. It's only bad if she's not of no, age. No, I I look at it like, oh, God, we're dying. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's like, true. Yeah, but I look at it like, oh, God, why can't you still look like that? I was like, <laughs> what yeah. happened? Um, and I'm sure she does the same for me, but you got to be vocal. Because I feel like in my high school, none of my teachers, were, everybody was miserable. Early, like, <laughs> why would, no, yeah, why would yeah. you want to go back? 
back? No, no well, yes, that, but I'm <laughs> to hide because I'm just you did saying, something terrible. Right? I don't feel like the, my high school teachers would ever question some new student, like say, like some new student transfer or whatever. They're not looking up the fucking if this person's like where's their address. You know what I'm saying? There's no investigation. There's just some other kid. It just uh, yeah, but you got to go with your teacher <laughs> friends, right, and the ones that actually care. Because Andres would sniff it out 100%. If Sam were a teacher, she'd sniff it out 100%. Yeah, but there's kids, all those, especially in Miami, there was kids in my middle school that had full-grown beards and shit. No, <laughs> you know, know, it was like I a know. Dominican yeah. baseball player. Yeah, really like that World kid. Series <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That yeah, it's like, God damn, crazy. This guy has, like, it, like he's muscular. Yeah. <laughs> like, you shouldn't be that muscular <laughs> at 13 God. years old. <laughs> and it's like, but it's, it's so, and no one ever, you know, they, shit with the I World Series of Baseball. It looks like. Yeah. yeah. God. I mean, and not to be racist, but the, nope. uh, Asians do look younger. You know, black I, people look I, younger. I'll be they racist. Their skin. Here, I'll be racist. I think every nationality except for white O's <laughs> look younger. Look younger. Yeah. That, is that racist? Yeah. Yes. But T- I'm Tony Jeff look, he yes. looks way younger. He's older than me. I'm he gonna, looks younger. I'm going oh, to be, she was Asian. I'm going to be. Yeah, yeah. Well, he said her name, and it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, and I, don't <laughs> <laughs> I can tell by the name. Yeah. And if you show me a picture, I can tell too. <laughs> <laughs> I look. I mean, she name does look or pretty young. Look, I'm and being racist, but I, I will give you a list of all of my friends that are of other nationalities that look younger than me and you. All of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all of them. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go on a camping trip. Everybody's gonna look, look younger. younger. Yeah, and then they look cooler for some reason when they do get older. Except for the wizard, older. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. I'm just glad it's, he keeps that hair long. Like, oh, keep the hair and the grizz. Yeah. So it just proves it. White. Uh, <laughs> so there's no physical way to tell. Documentation is flawed. The the school administrators need like some sort of questionnaire. Like, who's your favorite streamer? <laughs> <laughs> you know, can okay? Can you tell someone's age through some sort of science? Yeah, you got to cut their leg and count their rings. <laughs> no, no, what like, was the thing that was there, in the news about what was it like measuring their wrists? Right, or something? it was for it yeah, was for the Little this, League World Series. They had some sort of device where I mean, they I don't could, know how accurate. So it is, if you go but. like this, if you hold your hand, if you go like that, and then you go from here to here. That's the length of your penis. Or if you put, <laughs> or if you put your palm over your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah that's that's one, always a good yeah, one. Yeah, that's a classic. Uh, no, I, but got, I, I got Maisie with that one time, God. and then she was so fucking mad. Yeah, no, I, it makes you furious. And I couldn't hit her, like yeah. I couldn't because I, because I love her so much. Yeah, right. you're not gonna tap. break her fucking nose. Were, exactly. And but it made her so mad that I was like, if I continue to do this, I'll lose my best friend. <laughs> and I could, I had to stop. I was like, I'll lose her love forever. I wonder so. how they. They yeah, figured it out. My wife made me stop blowing the straw wrapper at her across the table. Oh, my God. She's That's like, classic. That's I did it one time, hit her in the eye, and she's like, <laughs> never again, and we're getting fucking divorced. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. And I never jerked off to Mia Khalifa again. <laughs> 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 I think it was a bone density thing, Sam. I yeah, think it was like some kind right. of thing you could put around the wrist, and it would like measure bone density in the wrist. And maybe there was even like a little piece that... Or your wrist that grows in after you're 14 or something, and it can measure uh, that, something like that. So, so say you're a middle aged person, human, and you. Have I'm n- a middle aged person, human. <laughs> you have, <no> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the robot has to make sure he says. I human. am a middle aged person, human, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then you had no idea for whatever reason, like where you like birth certificate, anything, and like can they? <laughs> they find me in a your crater in a field with, in Kansas. I don't know, man. A year, a year. Like, can, can they be There's like this person's 33? No, I, I but. I, well, maybe not when you're alive. Well, though, to answer his question, like autopsies. I don't think they can. Like, I think if you, if they dropped you out of the sky and you were just a rando human that was 36 years old, yeah, and then they then go, no they could take a, 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 some cells and some blood and everything, I and fingerprints and everything, and it, you, let's say you had no record. That's what you want, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't think they can. I don't think they can. I think they be, can't do it you, with pets, you, right? You with can your tell dog. Skeleton, like Sam's right with the uh, when they do forensic science, like they are like, oh, this person's they get a cl- they, get, they can they, get it within a range, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're almost within a year. Like this is a thirty-five-year-old female. Yeah, but skeleton. we don't know that they're telling that is what <laughs> yeah, yeah, is true. Yeah, well, I, just take I mean, because they tell me like with with Maggie, my mom's dog. I told him last time she was in there. I was like, "Do you have any way of telling me like I like know her to be sixteen? That's all I know. I'd like to be more accurate because she seems in like relatively amazing shape for sixteen. Like she's jumping yeah, yeah. and leaping. You've seen her. Uh-huh. She ain't sixteen. And uh, they're like, we have no way of knowing. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I'm- well, I mean, again, that's alive. But I mean, when you're dead and they can study your bones." 
Yeah, but it's all in the bones, baby. But, but you can't they do study x-rays? your bones now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They could take a they could take a sliver of bone. They could or, like or go x-ray. in there and get some marrow out of there. They could take we'll an X-ray ask of your skull. Yeah, we or should te- ask Alina. I think it's in the teeth. Something. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's something sure in there's the some teeth. Stuff in as the always in the teeth. It'd yeah. probably be easier as a kid because there's certain developmental milestones. Yeah, like yeah. as a baby, you know, your front and nail closes. They know that that's like within one to two years or something. And I kept mine open like the new Mercedes Benz, wide open. If like your wisdom teeth start to come in in your early 20s yeah, yeah, so yeah. if those are pushing in the back you're probably in your early 20s everybody then... here have their wisdom teeth uh removed i had seven pulled out of my i remember skull. that oh God, <laughs> yeah, i had yeah. four pulled out oh. of me yeah oh uh, yeah yeah i got yeah everybody here right oh it's terrible um should be proof that we weren't designed <laughs> anyway no, no, <laughs> but the no, banana no, tom that. the banana <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah i love that video it's and so i can't find it the original one kirk camera they took it down yeah well the original one with the guy and kirk you can find the one with the guy okay. and no kirk okay i can't find if you can find it send it to me i want to show it to Maisie. It's um okay. let's I'm do joking. another story right? all right uh this is berlin uh we've all you guys are in the public eye you produce content you've gotten bad reviews before ah uh. oh there's one on there now that says Where? Uh, on um, iTunes, there's a. It's not new, but it's the one on there now that says one star. Drop Dan waiting for the Tom and <laughs> Sam show. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll be quiet, quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that. Well, I mean, <laughs> so. just us sitting there in dead silence. I didn't think about that. Russ got a new iPhone. All right, uh, Berlin, uh, German uh, newspaper critic. She's at the um, Hanover State Opera House. Uh, it's a it's a premiere night, right? There, uh, it's uh, I think it was like a smoking break or something. This guy Weiska Hooster comes up to her, and she has written uh, a column about him that he does not appreciate. And okay. he, he exchanges words with her, and at a certain point, the exchange gets to the point where uh, words can no longer demonstrate how upset he is with her criticism of him. So he reaches into his pocket, oh. pulls out a brown paper bag, puts his hand into it. It comes out smeared with feces, which he wipes on her face. Oh, okay. oh, oh poop wow. Bag. <laughs> that, no, but that's the worst. I feel like for that, you got to go yeah, to yeah. jail or be executed. Or something. <laughs> no, that's uh, so bad. Like, on if the I, spot. Yeah, no, yeah. but seriously, like if I like if you and I were arguing and yes. I reach into a bag and I smear poop on your face and they restrain me, I feel like they have to lock me up for like 25 years or something. <laughs> like that's really bad, man. Yes. You could get diseases from that. And look, point made. I like and. Well, By the way, I was like, "You planned this. <laughs> <laughs> you how long did you bag of shit? Yeah, how long did you sit there like, with a shit bag?" That's in my your point. Pocket. Death penalty for a shit attack in general, but premeditated shit attack, yeah, yeah, like yeah. you brought it in a Pre- paper bag. That's drawn and quartered with fucking horses. Because it's I, terrible. I can understand you're like, oh, I'm so mad at the <laughs> you. Know, you pull your pants out and just start shitting on the floor. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's, fine. That's, <laughs> fine. that's fine. That's <laughs> fine. That's fine. The brought- Miami shit handle is still yeah. fine. That's still in play. That's not what I'm saying here. You took shit and you smeared it on my face. You that's brought it. shit. Yeah, that's brought, a whole different you, level of. You, you no, put, you can bring it. You can bring it and smear it under the <laughs> handles of my car, my Mercedes. That's fine. You, as you're leaving the opera house or whatever, you walk by my Lamborghini. You smear it all over the uh, the air fin, or you start smashing it in my grill. That's fine. But the minute you take that shit and you smear it on my body, it's it, it's changed the whole game. Um, I oh, that one rattled me, bro. <laughs> I, I remember with the sh- smearing shit on someone's face. I oh. did, it, uh, I remember watching, and it's not even your shit. Like I'm not even an anti shit guy, but uh, just somebody else's shit on my face. Uh, the Mm-mm. fear, it's definitely animal shit. They think probably dog. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, that's less. Uh, all right. Hold on, hold on. Hold really? on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I calmed down a little bit. I calmed down. No. Yeah, I calmed human down a little bit. Human shit is way I thought more it was, gross. I thought, thank you. I thought it was human shit. But this, some some dog shit you just find on the ground. Who knows what that dog's eating? Who knows nah, if it's yeah, up yeah, on yeah. its mat? I have always, <laughs> and I don't know if this is to be true, but I've always, I think my dad told me this and he was not smart. I believe that my dad told me that you can't get any disease from any other animal. Like, only <laughs> humans get human diseases. <laughs> and that's not true, but I'm going to go with it until I die. <laughs> well, I remember uh, in in the video CKY two K with the uh, whole Bam Margera and friends. Oh, why you gotta bring it up? There, there He's is, doing push ups now. He'll be fine. <laughs> there is a scene in that uh, where they're sleeping in a hotel or whatever. Some I think uh, I forgot who gets the, the the shit smeared on their face. Maybe Ryan Dunn or whatever. 
but uh, they take human shit from toilet paper that they wiped on their own ass. Oh. Like, and there's like shit, and then he's sleeping, and they just go kunk, right on their <laughs> face, and then rub it across his lips. And, and then it's someone's a, getting. I'm going to jail. Yeah, you've ruined like, my I'm friendship. I'll never talk to you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, we're and, not friends. Yeah, we're done. We're <laughs> yeah, done. Yeah, That's we're, like I don't I, like dog shit. I think I could repair the relationship, and eventually we'd work it out. But sure. your own shit on yeah. my lips? Oh, my God. <laughs> that's, yeah, yeah. That's it's fighting. It's going back right where sure. I was again, Ross. You, you're you swinging on that. Uh, you're Ugh. smearing human shit on my lips while I'm sleeping. I have a feeling, too, that like I was like I had a dream about you, and I know you don't like dreams. I, in my dream, I had two dreams. I'll tell you my two dreams I had last night. One of them was I was standing on the balcony of my house looking out, and the ice cream truck was driving by, and he was playing the music. Ding, ding, ding. And then Maisie ran out the front door to get the ice cream truck, and she was about to cross the road, and a car hit her, and she flew upside down and landed on her head and died. That was the first dream I had. Why would you say that? Well, it's just the first one I had. And the Uh, second... Don't don't tell me that's in your head. Don't get... It, Put it out you, to us. Yeah, it, <laughs> and, that that. and then another dream I had. Keep was, it inside. <laughs> another dream I had was you, for whatever reason, you got so, somebody said something to you, and you got so mad, and because you're so like relatively even keel, like unemotional person, that it was the only time we saw emotion, and you just started punching someone until their face turned to hamburger. Oh, you couldn't be stopped. You were like, ah, yeah, yeah, and you were doing that move. What's where, going on inside your head? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you need the ayahuasca. <laughs> Um, let's do uh, one more story, Ross. This is an old one, but uh, Dan just reminded me of this. I think I, I think this was going around the internet a couple of days ago, and I saw it. Uh, you know, you brought up ice cream truck music, Dan, and one of the songs that gets played a lot is "Turkey in the Straw." Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, this is uh, this is sort is of is that po- the classic? Like what we How know. Does it go? Like Can you do the jingle? Dun, 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 uh, or is that Pop Goes a Weasel? No, you Pop just did Pop Goes a Weasel. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Pop Goes a Weasel. Turkey in the Straw is. I'm going to have to. I'm going to play it on the. Uh, see if I can is it the classic ice cream truck song? Because um, uh, there is one that seems like everybody uses, right? Uh, like when you hear it, you're like, oh, ice cream truck. So and they must all use it. Is yeah, that the a- CNN.com article right here saying "Turkey in the Straw" is the one. Okay, so that's is the, one. the standard. All right. Oh, okay. This is what Maisie heard, by the way, and I was like, "Oh, she must be enjoying some ice cream." <laughs> oh, come on, come on. I thought this was "Do your balls hang low?" <laughs> do your balls hang low? Do, <laughs> do they, they wobble, wobble to and fro? Can, can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can, can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your balls hang low? All right. So good. Sam and I know that. Sam and I bonded for the weekend. Thought it was boobs. There was that one too. Do your boobs hang low? They're interchangeable. And again, this is an old story, but it kind of—I think it was going around the internet again a couple weeks ago and Dan saying ice cream music brought it back in my mind. A good humor now disavows themselves of Turkey in the Straw because it apparently uh, they... It, the reason it became used for ice cream trucks is because it was used in minstrel shows, like blackface minstrel shows in the in the previous time to ice cream trucks. So okay. people were used to it as like a, as a catchy little jingle that you'd hear, like you'd see some guy in blackface telling jokes to, and so it was like a thing people were used to, and so ice cream trucks adopted it. And thusly, good humor uh, uh, disavowed themselves of it. RZA wrote a new ice cream truck jingle. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and Dan, you can look that up if you want right. to. It's uh, just Rizza ice cream truck jingle, and it's it's pretty good. So, <laughs> but brace yourself. It's not a fucking Wu Tang Clan song. It's not. It's a, it's a jingle. Yeah, well, yeah. It's a straight up like ice cream truck jingle. I uh, spelled Rizza. I put an I in there for. Huh? Oh, there it is. Okay, I got it. Here's the new one. Ready? Not like my it. ice cream truck. Oh. <laughs> I like I the like original. It. Yeah, sounds a little woke. <laughs> Me. Uh, now they're changing everything. Yeah. <laughs> Next, they're going to take out my monuments. <laughs> oh. There used to be a time when you could get yourself a strawberry good humor and go sit next to General Lee, mm-hmm. underneath General Lee. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. And, uh, and, and ain't it in the patient but, quiet. By the way, I've already done the math that if it's real old, it's bad. <laughs> like something bad surrounded <laughs> it. Yeah, like, everything just, was bad. Like, or different than yeah, it was now. Here's what I would say <laughs> about it. it's bad. Like, here's all it is, 100 years old, bad. Like, uh, here's why I don't bad. like it. It is, uh, it's just generic. It's fine. Sure. I just wish you, uh, I would say a, it's a great start, Riza. I think we need a little, I would say make it more Wu-Tang. Why not? Everybody likes Wu Tang. Well, they he wants to make it generic enough. But to, I uh, like I like, or pick a famous American song and just make it that. You know, I mean. And but any, anytime I hear minstrel shows, I just I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> period. So uh, here's I guess the, <laughs> the, will they be, will they be getting this free? Will Good Humor be like gifting this to all of those? Or are they going to make them pay for it? Because see, that's mm. the problem. I I feel like in this town at they least, should give it. They're all like, um, boy, I hesitate to say gypsy trucks, but all gypsy. There's no <laughs> like, like association. Yeah. 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 They're indie trucks. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But it's all food truck. Well, yeah. Here's what I would say: if, if Good Humor wants to do this right, then if they are the supplier of the ice cream, and if uh, if the indie trucks are buying from Good Humor, sure. then you should offer them this jingle for free and upgrade all their sound systems. Agreed. Yep. You got to do something. Mm-hmm. You can't. Yeah. It would cost them nothing to send you two. Speakers and a free MP3 on a flash drive. It's definitely like a janky van that comes down my street. Yeah, ours where, is and rough. It, I'm pretty sure it's still turkey. Ours stuff. is pretty rough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a break. Uh, when we come back, we'll do some dump them out. All right. Um, got a couple topics. Then uh, yeah, we got a bunch on the dump them out thing. Be off to the woods. Mm. Yeah, off Any to the woods. Uh, we got bottom mix. Mm-hmm. We got it planned. Um, weird songs this week. This is Lost Boy Crow. The name of the song is Angelina. After that, you're going to hear um, Scott McKenzie. Hold on, whenever I say this right, Scott McKenzie and the. Hold on, Scott McKenzie and. You think the, there's any BDMs that are going to be out at Peace River this weekend? Um, uh, yes, I already know of a couple friends of mine that are going to be out there that are BDMs. It was um, shut down for a long time because of uh, how much flooding they got from the hurricanes. Like uh, the picture. I wonder if it's still soggy out there because a lot of the hiking trails I've been going to are yeah. like swampy. I heard it's a little swampy. <laughs> they well, got the sod master on it. <laughs> at, at this, oh, extra wet and slippery. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, I, I just saw pictures of the, all the uh, the buildings and stuff. Like the water was literally rooftop. over the top. Yeah, like uh, Damn. you know, ten foot tall water. Uh, it was just crazy. Yeah, I can't wait to get out there though and check it out. Uh, Scott McKenzie and the Ever Expanding is the name of the band uh, that you'll hear at the end. But right now, this is Lost Boy Crow. The name of the song, Angelina. We'll be right back. one 844 or show at TomAndDan.com. You know, I just I just noticed something funny. If you go to our friends at AmericanAirAndHeat.com, yep. and you look at the very top, the now their Statue of Liberty is now saying, ah, <laughs> like, oh, <man. laughs> because it's finally the, cool. even the Statue of Liberty knows that yeah, yeah. living in Florida without an AC that is properly maintained, um, that it, that is not cooling correctly, can be miserable. And yeah. uh, and then you'll uh, you'll literally you'll be as hot as their torch. I'm, I'm telling you, talk to them. Uh, look into getting a complete system, uh, a new system like I did. Daniel did. Yeah. I I got new duct work through my whole house. It runs more efficiently. It saves me tons of money. Um, um, but now I have a return in every single room of the house. It's sucking the hot air out, yeah. and it's it, it just cools my house more efficiently. Plus, uh, the system, the actual unit itself, is super efficient because it's new technology. If you're running, like, a 15-year-old system, yeah. I mean, look, time goes by, and you're like, oh, I bought this house. Oh, I did buy this house 10 years ago, and yeah. then the AC was, uh, like, uh, 8 years old at the time. Well, go it's out like and listen 20 to years it. old. It's got the one, the old rusty yeah. fan that's like, kang, 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 it's yeah, banging. Yeah. On the outside, no. Go and you get. There's plenty of financing options that they have for yeah, you, yeah. so it'll take the sting out a little bit. Um, plus, once you get uh, that new system, you're going to want to do maintenance to it to make sure that it lasts you a very long time. And that's one of the things they specialize in. Yeah, 24 point maintenance, uh, preventative maintenance. So if your system right now, so it doesn't break down, get it serviced by American Air and Heat. And again, if you're looking for a full system or any work at all, you can get 10 percent off if you use promo code. BDM or Tom and Dam, just let them know you're a listener, yep. and they'll give you 10% off everything. Uh, so if you want anything related to your air conditioning system fixed or a new system, anything, it's AmericanAirAndHeat.com. It's a 
good one to dance to, right? Hey, everybody. Welcome back to a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Um, <clears throat> you guys were talking about the Super Bowl halftime show. Uh, when I was reading that thing about the sod father, um, back in 1967 for the first Super Bowl, the uh, the budget for the field was 500 bucks, right? So, uh-huh. and also, so it was a Tom and Dan event. They the uh, they also the the commissioner at the time told this guy the sod father that was doing the field, like he asked, "What do you want in the middle?" Like uh, painted on it, uh, you know, yeah. for the Super Bowl, and then apparently the commissioner told him, "Like, ah, eh, just do whatever you want." <laughs> he said, "Do whatever you want." Like that's how small of a deal yeah. the, the first Super Bowl was, and now the budget is seven hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars. But he just still just doesn't do whatever he wants. Just <laughs> for the field, just wow, seven hundred fifty thousand. That, that actually sound. I I actually would have expected to be maybe a little more. Yeah, that sounds low. Like for the field, like because, I mean, like, it's the, only a hundred yards, uh, fifty yards wide. <laughs> yeah, it's not that much because it's like it's like a minute and a half of commercial time. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> when like the Jesus ad was twenty mil, and then we're talking about the field, yeah, I would yeah. expect at least a mil. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just like let's well, give how them an extra two fifty. Hey, maybe if they put two extra two fifty into it, it wouldn't have been all wet rock. You know? <laughs> oh, that guy did it on purpose. Uh, I think he man. did. I, I hope he did. Um, I hope. Like, what what would they do to him? Okay, let's have, like uh, not to go back to it, but okay. So they go to interview him, and let's say in two he's weeks retired. He, it. Well, let's say in two weeks he he had cancer, and it like it's back, and he. He ain't looking good, and he's like, you know what? I, I want to say I did that on purpose because I love my Kansas City Chiefs. What or, would they do? Or, or let's say he's in good health and he's looking at 20 more years, and he says, yeah, I did it, and he just eats free barbecue in Kansas City for the rest of his <laughs> yeah, fucking life. Yeah, you know? that's true. Yeah. Like, is there anything they could do? Nothing. Well, if you're an Eagles fan, you want him publicly oh, executed. Take his finger <laughs> away. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you push him down a flight of stairs <laughs> or something. Um, oh. Let's do some uh, double money. All right. It's the bit that cannot be killed. <laughs> We got too many topics on the list today. It's the end of the motherfucking show. So come on, baby, let's dump them out and play. I want to see your topics. I want to also see your bottom mix. Where did the video guys get the uh, oddly <laughs> horrifyingly Whoa. creepy videos of like real women? Pulling their t-shirts up and then pulling the bras down that that form the letters D U M P. I like that, that is really good. I like that it intersperses a video of tits dumping out with something else. And yeah, then, yeah, and then tits dumping out and then something else. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, then tits dumping out. Yeah, it's great. It's yeah. good. Uh, thedangerbrain.com for any of your branding needs. Uh, they've done our branding for twelve years. Would Man. they brand me with a hot iron if I asked them? Uh, do you yes, reckon? Yeah, that yeah, would be yeah, pretty awesome funny. Bad. I mean, if we were to do it, uh, they recently they've done some branding. for... For our friends in Sanford, and I oh, yeah. think it's open. I don't want to get in front of uh, myself here, but I believe the joint. Oh yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's up uh, and running. Is now up and running. Hollabox taking over the West End's kitchen. They did the branding for that. <clears throat> what? Go check it out and get yourself some. The prophecies were true. Yeah, get yourself some, uh, maybe some uh, marijuana inspired, creative, uh, delicious yep. uh, bar food. You tell me, I can go to the West End, get food from Hollabox, and it's weed inspired. Well, not ne- it's well, just munchy, it's not really really German food. Yeah, it's, it's like, just the kitchen yeah, staff from Hollabox. It's like what. Wings. You would want if you were dialed in. No. That's what I'll say. That's perfectly wow. said. Yeah, yeah. It's what you munchy would want foods. if you're dialed Good in. Wings. It's, it's munchy foods. So there uh, you go. So uh, I wanted to talk to Ross about this because I, I I expect him to have some stories. So oh no, the jet ski factory. No, no. Well, never <laughs> jerked off to me <laughs> <laughs> ever again. So Mia Khalifa was at the jet ski factory. <laughs> I saw this video on the internet about stealing from your job, um, uh, and then uh, and then it made me think. I'm um, like, I'm going to put on the BDM page uh, who is stolen okay. from their workplace. Yeah. And then there was a lot of comments. And then I started reading some. It was pretty funny. If you're on the BDM page, you should check out the post. And I've even gotten some emails and some long people go further than I expected. Like these, I mean, stealing straight money. Well, I was talking yeah. about like things. Like, people are like, little, I embezzled. Yeah. 
yeah. embezzled it's cash here, right? Like, when they have a specific name for the kind of stealing yeah. you're doing, yeah. you're just, so, you're, so I was funneling into this yeah. account, and I'm like, whoa. And then, oh. and then I even yeah, read you pocket a twenty from the cash register. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Then I read some stories about like, and it made sense, and I never thought about it. But if you like work for some uh, big corporation, right, uh, and you got everybody in on it. Like, you could uh, take them for a lot. Oh, like, yeah. if you had all the employees, like the manager and then the employees were in on it, like, you could figure out a way to cook the books and show that you were making X amount and steal, yeah. you know, because. And everybody's in on it. And yeah, yeah, everybody's yeah. in on it. Yeah, yeah. You know oh, what I mean? You could probably, everybody can make an extra 10000 a year on just uh, stealing and reselling, you know. I don't have the story right here, but there's a good one I was reading this morning. This guy. Started a, a fund where you and you like you got a half million dollars. You give it to this guy, and he buys gold, silver, palladium. He buys precious metals for you, okay, and then ships it to a storage facility, and uh, it's stored for you in your name, right? Yeah, and that was all bullshit. He just, <laughs> yeah, he yeah, just yeah. took all the money and the gold uh, and fucking fled. Oh okay, god, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that, well, that's always uh, you're like, well, I like the ones that are ongoing because yeah. Uh, I always wonder how people because you could buy like precious metal stock and stuff and uh and like it's traded, right? So sure. you can go on one of these apps or whatever trading apps There's and then buy too it. many of them. Like you don't need the guy be like, Oh, I'm gonna buy it and ship it to my special storage facility <laughs> you're like, oh, okay. I feel yeah. like you See, didn't question that at all. <laughs> here, I'm, I had to get a little toe in this uh, puddle so I can maybe clarify this for you. Like, ah. your precious metals people that invest in precious metals, we, like, it, what you're talking about, just invest in, like, stocks of uh, precious metals, they don't like that because there's, like, you can you can divide it. That's paper silver, they call it. They don't oh, like, okay. they want they don't the like real... paper silver. And then your hardcore guys don't even like the depositories because that's not in fucking hand. You got to have, like, some fucking American silver eagles in your house, preferably buried in your back. Backyard with goddamn government can't find it. <laughs> no, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, be- best case end of day, you got some precious metal in here. That hand. was yeah. the most but- th- crazy thing I found when my dad died is that his upper drawer had only pornography and small precious coins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> all precious old coins. Men, <laughs> yeah, my old papa had- loved titties and precious co- like his whole and he'd set up all these tiny spiraled little accounts for my mom yeah. to keep her safe like he, hey, he opened one here he opened one here he opened one here and then he'd put like 500 300 500 three. so she had like 43 different <laughs> tiny accounts that had gotten huge right it was nuts i like coins i got a little coin collection myself my grandpa insanely had a dresser drawer yes. full of 1976 quarters the bicentennial yes. ones which are worth 25 cents each. Yes. 100% of <laughs> My the dad gave me a whole bunch of those. He's like, you are a boss and tenu- <laughs> Dan Lee, you are a boss and baby. Born in 1976. There you got a reason. Not only do these coins mean something to mm-hmm. you because you were born in the bicentennials, but it means something when you'll be big enough, they'll be, you'll be rich. And he gave me, and it's in the paper thing, and you open it, and yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're worth it. My grandparents, when the state quarters came out, they painstakingly, yeah. month by month as they came out, put together the first 50 state quarters for me, my yep. cousin, uh, my kids, and I have them all, and they're worth 25 cents yeah, each, but I treasure them, because my parents, my grandparents, yeah. their fingers bled to find the fucking Andrea's grandma Alabama one. And yeah. there were two that I think that didn't have states, they just announced that it was like, we're doing the states or something, there's like two like other ones, oh. again, both worth 25 cents. Yes. They're not any more rare than anything. No. The opposite of that, my grandfather, Pop-Pop, he, he used to steal money out of your piggy no, bank? He, he had this <laughs> glass like uh, like water glass filled with these gold coins, right? And he used to give them out to like birthday presents, like a sister or oh, whatever, wow. like me or the. Uh, what size of gold coin are we talking? Uh, it, it would. Uh, at like the time, I knew, it was like remember that when they mm-hmm. re, yeah. like a uh, a doll. It was the size of like a. Uh, a so we're talking like an a ounce dollar. of gold, like an ounce of gold. Well, it, it, I remember him saying like these are genuine Inca Indian golden pesos. These were <laughs> given to me from the Golden City. <laughs> yeah, 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 and then I remember my going, Icarus. Oh. And, uh, do you still have one? I would be yes, I do. Fascinated. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it because bring it. I would be fascinated to find out what kind of coin. Heck. He was giving them away crazy, and I used to be like, uh, like I used to, me and my sister were laughing. by Mister Wonka after after, and I used to think they were just because my stepdad had a uh, a bunch like a coin collection. Yeah. Remember, I told him it was worth nothing. Oh, and it broke his heart. God <laughs> damn it! You so that man. He didn't know. And I looked it Release up on Google. 
bed. <laughs> Release the man's bed and break his heart. And, and, yes. uh, and then we found out, that, and it was only because when, you know, like uh, gold went crazy and the prices went crazy right around the recession, like uh, in 2008 or whatever, the gold prices like doubled or tripled. And each one of these fucking coins, I looked them up after he passed away, it was worth 300 bucks a piece. Whoa! And because they had $300 worth of gold, I guess, so, okay. in them. And then, uh, so I, I have like a couple of my gold plated or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not a pure gold coin. Because like an ounce of gold right now is like two grand. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then a premium on a coin to put it like closer to 2500 Yeah, yeah. But I fully expected them to be worth nothing. Uh, but 300 bucks, I was like, 300 yeah, bucks? Right, yeah. so, you know, like, Where so, are the rest of them? So, oh, they gave uh, the, the maid stole <laughs> oh, <laughs> the nurses. Know, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're like, all, he don't need these babies. Yeah, yeah. anybody <laughs> who came in his house was a yeah. giant <laughs> thing of gold coins. They <laughs> took them all. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, it, makes, yeah. like, it makes working for white people a little easier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you steal, <laughs> you their, steal gold. their coins. <laughs> exactly. you know, doo-doo yeah. on their pie. Yeah. Right. I used to have a shitload more. the equation. You call me the end I steal all your coins. And doo with their pie. Yeah, if I work for you and you call me that that N word. I'm stealing all of your <laughs> coins and I'm pooping in your pie. When I worked at 7 Eleven, uh, you can't find silver and change anymore. Like, people are onto that. But, like, when I worked at 7 Eleven, I could bring home like three, four silver coins a day. You know, just bring a pocket full of change with me. Somebody would turn in a, a silver dime, a couple silver quarters, a few times a day. And I had them all out, like, on a tray because I thought they looked neat. I liked to see them. And uh-huh. uh, one of my kids uh, no. ended up started stealing them and spending them at the school store. And I didn't catch on until like they were mostly gone. Uh, you have a mechanical oh, pencil. You bought a, you want, bought a watermelon eraser. Correct. <laughs> but, um, I, I guess that uh, my mom used to tell me that like, her only job was working at the bank. And then she's got like a $500 oh, bill. Dude. Like any old bills and shit. Bank teller is the best. As yeah. long as you uh, use your own money. Change to, it out. And yeah. change it out. Uh, and it's probably not like that anymore. Uh, but yeah. you used to be able to take the. Well, there's uh, ca- everything's cameras now. Yeah, right. Yeah. So if they saw you take the. You know, you'd have to take it out of sight. Yeah. Or but they used to let you. Like the the ma- bank manager would tell my mom, like you know, as long as you put in your own five hundred dollars, you could take this five hundred dollar bill. Yeah, because some old lady turned in a five hundred dollar fucking bill. Yeah, 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 that's cool. Um, uh, what's the next thing? So stealing from jobs. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. So have you stolen from jobs? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. The at the I remember. Like, I think this might have been my first job. Even like the uh, the food um, hall at, at UGA. It was like an art form to steal shit. Like, you know, if you could sneak out with a six-pound can of tuna or something. Oh, yeah. In the food industry, you're stealing stealing something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it was. I it, remember the wizard. By the, they, see, uh, I, stole the bag of mayonnaise from Subway. I <laughs> never, the best mayonnaise. Yeah, they do. I, like I will. I don't yeah. even. I hate Subway. I hate Subway but too. I li- but that mayonnaise I, is good as hell. I like their mayonnaise. You know, there are certain uh, wing places where I don't like everything that they have. But man, I'll tell you right now, Gators Ranch. I don't oh, know yeah. if I'll find ranch better than that. It's really good. And the bigger the corporation, the easier it is for oh, you yeah. to justify you stealing yeah. from it. Because and when your like, manager's a dickhead, you're like, ah, yeah. he'll take the blame. Subway for this. mayonnaise. You might not like this company. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. See, that's a good point because when I was working at Daylight Donuts, which was literally like a fucking um, a sandwich stand in a donut shop, the smallest possible fucking uh, company at all, and I'd make myself like a triple sandwich to take home. The guy had to sit me down and be like, "That's stealing." <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, when the owner says, it's like yeah. a mom and pop, you feel bad. Like, and I, I did. I felt bad after that. And I made, it's a piece yeah, of sausage reasonable. and a double egg or something. Well, get get yeah, off but, of you. Get out but of here. But if I'm putting like, if I'm putting like triple roast beef and yeah, yeah, yeah. quadruple cheddar and like literally everything, I was making some monster yeah, sandwiches. Yeah, it does sound delicious. Yeah, Daylight really Donut is it around or Dude, gone? Uh, I'm sure they're still chugging away there in Statesboro. The, their, their secret was uh, they'd uh, they make the bread out of donut batter with no what? sugar in it. It was so fucking good. That sounds delicious. And then 7-Eleven, I remember, uh, you know, going in on third shift, you had to throw away all the taquitos. And it was, like, strictly forbidden that you eat a fucking taquito. God right. forbid you eat a taquito that you were about to throw in the trash. And at a certain point, I would use, I would sneak into, the, like, the camera blind spot and eat them for a while. And then at a certain point, I was like, fucking fire me over right, eating taquitos. Right. Like, I would just, like, pick them off the grill, take a bite, throw the t- two ends in the trash. I yeah. just eat them right off the grill. Worst case scenario, a <laughs> robber shoots you while you're eating a taquito on the blind oh, spot. Man. And they go back and look, and they're like, fuck, he was standing in the only place we couldn't see. <laughs> I, I have a OCD anxiety problem when I, every morning when I go to my 7-Eleven and I walk past the grill. Because I always do. And I always see my ladies, and I love my ladies. Shout out to the Corinne 7-Eleven. That's my, it's, I love them. Mm-hmm. But some of the taquitos will not be spinning. And I, I want to take the tongs, and I want to 
tend. <laughs> I'm, it's in my nature. I don't know. It's a thing that you it, would think they would be able to make those fucking things round by now. <laughs> but all they all and like every third fall, one has yeah. a flat spot yes. on it, and it just won't fucking I think it's roll the end of the bag or something. But like and the, I, the food is growing cancer. <laughs> <laughs> it's got lumps. <laughs> it's that bad. And then I Dude, used to, taquitos I, are good though. I mean, I'm not I gonna have, none of it's good for you. Yeah, yeah. But there's like, and then I, I I've always wanted to go in there, and sometimes I daydream. Even this morning. I was in there and I was buying this Mountain Dew in front of me and I was daydreaming about looking at the thing and I was like, what if I just told them, give me 12 of your quarter pound Bahama Mama sausages? They'll microwave it for you. They would just like yeah. start getting them ready. Yeah, it's for happened. Me. It's like, happened before. No problem. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Me it's and happened. the boys needed some sausages for the site. And go to the fucking little fridge yeah, and start just... microwaving shit for the guy. Oh, yeah. So I, I started thinking more of this because, like, I was like, oh yeah, everybody's d- taking something from their job. Even uh, it's I like... used to work for this podcast. I robbed them a lot. <laughs> <laughs> even if it's like uh, stationary shit, like you know, stuff that's in, like you know, even like this, is, this, this is, is a Bart Mary pen. I still listen from Bart Mary. Like like eating the stuff. The misspelled uh, pads were pretty great. Like the lowest form. Eating, line. eating the stuff that was you were gonna throw in the garbage, I, I think everybody would be like, even though technically by the letter of the law, the corporation law, like that is stealing, but everybody would be like, who gives a shit? You're gonna throw it's it trash, away. Yeah. Yeah. Here's yeah. the problem with that rule: they don't want you putting extra taquitos out to throw them away at the end of the night. That's the justification for that yeah, rule. Yeah, yeah. I don't put the fucking taquitos on the roller. The <laughs> second shift fucking does. Yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. corporate <laughs> fucking idiots. Yeah, yeah. And I just say with uh, <laughs> when I worked at Home Depot, like they, I'd be crushing a Hampton Bay. Fan because I was missing uh. the pull string, and uh, they, they it would make you go to the fucking trash compactor yeah. and crush it brand new. I'd be like, let me just Protocol. take this off. I'm poor college student. I'll take this. Is a nice yeah, fan. No, There's no, a no, Reddit no. for dumpster diving, like people who go and yeah, like yeah. they'll you know at Walgreens after fucking Valentine's Day go get 55 oh pounds God, of like yeah. Valentine's candy or whatever. And every once in a while, you'll see like look at this shit. And somebody's just like Nikes. They've just slashed open with the razors so nobody could possibly ever use them. You yeah, know, like, that's it's bullshit. bullshit. You're cutting the things the so no one can worse. You can't uh, give like leftover food to homeless people. That's illegal. Like yeah. these people are starving. They yeah. don't even have a home. Just give them the goddamn they taquitos. Don't be sued. They, they don't want to be sued. They want fentanyl. <laughs> 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 that uh, but then the opposite end of this, and I started thinking. Uh, I was like, I bet Andrea, uh, Daniel's wife, has never stolen anything from her, uh, her job. Ooh, uh, she probably uh, has. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she has the most epic stealing story of all time. <gasps> what? She's stolen more than I. I am my the, more than I am from the our workplace, not from her workplace, but in general as a as a teen. Like oh, I'm more, okay. I'm more of a nerd than she is. Everybody had a shop. You guys remember? No, she stole an in sync inflatable off the top of a McDonald's. <laughs> I stole a SpongeBob okay. off a Burger King. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that I well, okay. that's fandom. I yeah, I oh, didn't so give her a pass. A pass? <laughs> well, she what? really uh, loved in sync. So I, I got yeah, but it's... did she ever steal anything from a job? <sighs> I feel like she's never stolen from a job. I like uh, how this is actually I, this is like grand theft, and you guys are not impressed. I, it, I is, know, it is it's trespassing, like a yeah. hundred dollar yes. inflatable, this is like, yeah. a number of crimes. Yeah. yeah, and I don't even know how they they like untied it, and then they had to climb up on in top Florida? of the McDonald's yeah. and pull it down. Or There's familiar. probably a law against preventing boy <laughs> bands from advertising. That's funny that me and Andrea committed the same crime. I can't believe I did, I've never heard your story, and that's and crazy to me that uh, I dated an idiot in high school, and he it wanted, wasn't my idea, and he wanted, I didn't even like SpongeBob. And he was like, never oh. saw an episode. He, <laughs> he's like, I want this SpongeBob. Yeah. How big was it? Fucking huge. There, it was as big as bigger than our studio, or like, as big as this room, like a like a inflatable gorilla at a like yes. a car dealership, yes, dude. Like that. on yeah. top like, of the building. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it was the size of the entire what? roof of a Burger King. I remember how you, them. How did you steal it? He climbed up on the roof and he started untying it. Didn't deflate it first? You got to deflate it, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then, and then, and then you got to th- roll it off on top of your, uh, <laughs> maybe your Grifton friend's car. <laughs> oh, Grifton was there. <laughs> oh, she was there. She Allegedly. Was there. It was her That's idea. She wasn't doing homework, that's for sure. <laughs> Grifton Jess was there. She's like, did you ever blow it up at, like when she got home or anything? Uh, like, oh, oh, my God. wife is in a call in, Andrea. Andrea, remember. call in. Yeah, she saw so her and there was a fat girl that she rolled with at the time called Big Becky. 
<laughs> they called right. her Big Becky. Yeah, yeah, it was a term. Yeah, the yeah, Michigan <laughs> people are harder. They're you just harder. The yeah, 90s. Detroit people are harder people. And this is when my wife was in a Detroit gang. <laughs> Apparently, what? she was in a Detroit boy band oh. gang. Was, there was Big Becky, and then there was like horse teeth. Sally. Definitely stole like barricades, stop signs, stuff like that when you were a teen. The right? chat room's oh, making yeah. fun of me, That's but my wife is going to confirm yeah. this, and then you'll see true love. I know Big Becky. We still talk to her. What I was the like. end game though? Did SpongeBob just end up in a garage or a car? Yeah, he did. Just like take because I was like, you got to get it out of out of my house. Like my dad's gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> so <laughs> he knew it, what did you get your goddamn sponge man out of my garage? Yeah, I, I remember uh, the trailers old- don't have garages, but <laughs> no, <laughs> like, behind the trailer, behind the shed, Under. behind the shed. I knew it. It was close. Oh, she's calling in uh, line two. Line, okay, line two. Let me see. Oh my god, you're a horrible, horrible human. <laughs> I am not a horrible human. Oh, sorry. So, I got the other how phone. big Hello? was the insane? Yeah, sorry, we got you. The Andrew. other phone line was on. Um, so, do you remember, like, I mean, it went the prairie front of the whole McDonald's. So, we went over to Daytona, to the Daytona <gasps> McDonald's. You st- At, like, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, they were closed. And uh, snipped that banner right off and yeah. ran. Oh, it was, it was a, banner. a banner. Oh, That's banner. different I than the inflatable. I thought it was an inflatable. You oh, the inflatable was No, hard. no, no, no. It was a huge... <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, it went the whole length of the McDonald's. So it was a huge... And so then to get it into my friend, Becky, who you've already mentioned, her little... Oh, you don't want to say her true name. Yeah. Say her true name. <laughs> say her name three times and she shows up. <laughs> That's mean. No, she, no. she doesn't listen to the show. Diabetes juice. <laughs> That's all right. But she grew up in Deland, so. Oh, okay. Mm. Shout out to Big Becky. Yes, but yeah. So anything in sync, uh, we were after. So we went after anything. And why did you need to have the banner by chance? Because it was like a rare. Uh, in sync memorabilia well, thing. I pro- we probably still have it in our house, Daniel. It's probably wait. You kept it. <laughs> it's on eBay right it's now for two hundred and fifty dollars. Like, Whoa! Tupperware bin with all my stuff. With all my in sync <laughs> stuff. <laughs> well, she still has all of it. You know, our old studio is now yeah. just nothing. Yeah, but yeah, I see. All I, of her I, garbage. I broke my head. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's all of her garbage. So, Andrea, have you ever stolen anything from any workplace uh, that you've worked at? What about that PR firm you hated? Absolutely not. I've not stolen anything. Not I worked a, at retail. Not a single so, meatball. No. What about a, no, no? Not even one. Not nothing from IKEA. Even a retail well, IKEA. No, no nothing. You ever work at an Old Navy. You didn't nothing. steal some socks. Yeah. Paper clips no. from Wesh. Oh. <laughs> the not, I mean, for sure, you saw your employees stealing, right? I mean. They probably did, but Andrew, I don't know. Oh, they kept it away. It. Did you, <laughs> you, the hey, did, did you ever like catch anybody with... stealing ever? Um, I mean, like customers all the time. I worked out at the West Oaks Old Navy, so oh. I mean, it was crazy out there. I had, I heard you guys talking about poop earlier. I had no. a guy <laughs> poop in his hand and wipe it all over the little boy's clothes. If I can't, if I can't have them to the boys, then I'm gonna ruin their clothing. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) You know, we're working like uh, Crystal working at Foot Locker and Champs, and even I bet bet Crystal seen some stuff. The West Oaks Mall had always had this, uh, (laughs) you know, uh, the West Oaks is like being sent (laughs) to the wall. (laughs) It's like John Snow, you have to go to the wall. (laughs) There's always the robbery stories. Drop down, drag out fights in my store. Like it <laughs> yeah, was. Yeah, I've crazy. heard that too. Um, Black well, Friday. Oh. Did, why did the man poop in his hand and rub it on the little boy's clothing? I don't know why. Uh, he was probably mad. He was trying, probably trying to scam like a return or something. We had lots of people that would do that. Mm-hmm. They would like go and clearly they wore it or something. Um, and try to scam a return, and he didn't like it, and so he went to back. <laughs> well, there's only, I like that he was like, well, there's only one way out of this. <laughs> like, <laughs> like that, like, <laughs> I'm going to smear my poop. Um, All right, I love you, baby. I love you, too. Don't steal things. All right, um, you either. There's something to be said for getting so primally angry that you just shit on somebody else's <laughs> items. You know? I, I don't know if I've ever done that. No, no. I was trying to think That's if I've a- ever taken an ang- a- anger shit. Well, it's a mental illness, for <laughs> yeah. sure. There's a lot of poo-poo involved the mentally ill. Um, what else we got here? Uh, Tom's tattoo story? Oh, yeah. Well, some... we, we didn't get to this, but it was really funny because he was talking about what... Okay. Tom's not one for chirping. 
And we had Dr. Tracy, who oh, was on... He liked chirping to her, though. Well, Dr. Tracy is a scientist. He likes science. She and was on Mythbusters, She was on Ross. Mythbusters, the reboot. And she's in here, and she does happen to be a very, yeah. very attractive lady. And she was like, oh, what's your tattoo? And then Tom was like, oh, and he like showed it. He was like, and he, he stopped for like a split second. And he had a decision to make. Yeah, yeah. Do I, yeah because, mm-hmm. And I explained to you... I believe uh, Hamlet put it to flex <laughs> or not to flex. No, no, no. no it has <laughs> nothing to do with that. It's only about... Like, I realize that, because of the tattoo, do I go into, oh, it's a uh, tribute to my dad. He died in Hurricane Andrew. Like, right. because that... She even brought that up later in the show, Hurricane Andrew, mm-hmm. about did, like how did, it changed the topography and some of the vegetation. And, and there's an awkwardness of like, you point someone's tattoo, and you're like, oh, nice tattoo. And you're like, it's a tribute to my dead my mom. My dead died. dad. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he died a horrible it's death. It's to remind me to not be a pedophile. Or, or, or whatever. Like, I don't want no, that interaction when I... When I say that to someone, then they say, "Oh, it's a tribute of this uh, thing. I, I lost my son," and uh, you're like, "Oh my right. god!" You, you're, I like that better than like somebody's just got like a. I just like scary clowns. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But then it's over. But that's it a all simple I'm- thanks. I, that, enough, that's you know? what I did. You don't I, have to go no, into he detail. did do that. No, he I did, know, I, but I'm saying I wouldn't even be like, I well, just like. But well. then I did. A, I did a no, another awkward thing uh, where I was like, "Oh, thanks, uh, yeah." And then I'm like, "It's a boat, what? and there's a star." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you said it like a baby. <laughs> and there's a boat, and then there's a star, <laughs> and there's some waves right I here. I there's a water, well, and then <laughs> a boat. I do you know that people, yeah, yeah. people can drive well, boats in the water. Well, then I then I second guess my. My initial reaction was I should have said something more You're because, now, it, yeah, because now it's an awkward, weird thing. It's like, okay, was there any story behind that? You just got the random boat uh, When's fishing When's the last motor? time you <laughs> underthought something? I never, I never underthought. You should underthink. <laughs> you should practice underthinking. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is it a tribute, by the way, to get the thing that murdered him tattooed? I don't know. Oh, oh my god! Ross, I've thought that. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah, thought that the entire time. Yeah, you I'm should here see for. Well, no shit, Ross. I say that joke in my head all the time, and then I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> is there a, is there a tribute to the thing that he died on? Yeah. Like, if, like, I think if you asked him, like, he probably wouldn't have done. It. You know what? Have you ever seen you my, have you ever seen my you tattoo should, of the of lupus he, on my arm? You should, <laughs> you should <laughs> sleeve it out so he's drowning underneath the boat. I I got the t- the tattoo of the diabetes molecule <laughs> on my forearm. <laughs> my dad died. He was like, God damn it! I, I was young and I didn't think on it, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too Ross. lazy to get a laser off. <laughs> How are you not gonna get a laser off? I just don't care it's anymore. It's a tribute. It's uh, not, no, no, again, no, I have around Ross's <laughs> logic. I wish I agree. <laughs> it isn't a tribute. It originally I, started as a hey, tattoo of a boat, not a tattoo of a storm. Why don't I get a, like something he liked? <laughs> right. <laughs> like did, I mean, be, uh, uh, the boat before he liked the boat. He just killed him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he liked it before it killed him. Anyway. Is I'm with any, you, Ross. <laughs> is it any difference than Christians walking around with the cross? Yeah, like, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, oh, that's weird, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is weird. <laughs> Everything's weird. All right. What else All right. 90 mile per hour unicycle. Oh, we got to talk about this. So these unicycles that I see these guys in all black wearing the Kevlar, and the, like, they wear like chest plates and helmets, and they're standing straight up like a soldier, just like Tom w- wipes his ass. Like they stand straight up. <laughs> I've been, and they're I like, told they're you. like this. Like, t- and they're like, yeah. And they're all like, and they're hauling ass on a unicycle and I've seen them hauling ass and then I looked up and they're like you're never going to believe it the 65 mile per hour uh, unicycle is gone It's a, it, that was yesteryear now welcome in the 90 mile per hour <laughs> unicycle and I was like what the, and Tom and I both are like what the fuck yeah, it will go Goddamn 90 miles an hour. Which, if <laughs> you, know what I say, like you know what I say, 90 miles an hour is 100 miles an hour. That, that, that it might as well be right. And then it I might like, as well be. I mean, could you imagine? Because now I want to, like, if someone, if a listener has this, bring it by the studio. We'll let you come hang out. And then we're going to do a show. I'll where give you a free membership if I, you let us run. I'll it. put my dirt bike helmet on. I'll get some pads and I'll go down Lake Baldwin Man, Lane. I don't know if fast Andrew, as I can. Andrea hates these things. I don't know if she'll let me ride it. I got enough vehicles. Right, well, I've been I want to ride one. I've been 110 miles an hour in a car yeah. on an interstate. And that's a little bit, you know, sketchy. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. been. 
a hundred plus miles an hour on a motorcycle. That's crazy on an, an yeah, interstate, yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's it, fucking it, sketchy. It's sketchy. That's that's it, like agreed. You got to look so fucking far ahead to be prepared for what's coming that you shouldn't be doing. I did it trying <laughs> yeah, to keep you're, you're, up with a drunk Shannon Berg, and I did it in a in a <laughs> oh, charity bike ride, oh, 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 and I tried yeah. to keep up with him. I know he was drunk, and I was doing a hundred, <laughs> oh, no, and he's doing a hundred, no. and I just did it because I was afraid that he'd call me a pussy. <laughs> the first thing they taught us, <laughs> job, oh, he would have. The first thing they teach you in motorcycle safety class in Florida is don't try to keep up with drunk Shannon Burke on a <laughs> that is rule one. Uh, so on a on like literally a piece of metal between your feet, yeah. unfathomable. One yeah, wheel. It's, it's one wheel, and, yeah. and like on I, a motorcycle, is sketchy. Yes, at a hundred. I and and this like I can't even. I don't even know like once. I don't even know how the geometry works. I don't know how it stops. Would you just go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do you it, slow down? Uh, well, it because there's a lot of weight up top. It, it it it's like you know the same technology as the, as the one wheel and a Segway or whatever. It's got that uh, electric uh, the motor in there that uh, st- stabilizes you and works yeah. like as you lean forward, it just goes faster and faster. But it, like. If you if it did turn off, you are rocketing. Your momentum is going to rocket you off, and then you're just going to slide on the asphalt. Like if you're going ninety, it's going to take you. I mean, would you slide for fifty yards, right? On the why it burned your uh, clothes off well, on I mean, the road. Most, most of the guys around here they have on the full yeah. Kevlar gimmick, but like. I guess my point is, if you're like, would you be safer on the motorcycle doing 100, or yeah, safer well, on this because you this have more is- control on, because you can't like on the motorcycle at least if you're going fast and Ross knows this like if something happens you've got two wheels to apply the, the brakes to also I feel like you can swerve out of the way just because you're sitting on it and the motion of turning fast is was going to be different than standing. You know, you're not you're not in the position to turn fast standing like a goddamn soldier. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? You're like what? I've been in a position on a motorcycle on the interstate where like I uh, I'm behind a tractor trailer, so I can't see the whole road ahead of me. It was rainy too. It was fucking raining, Ugh. and suddenly there was a giant deer carcass in front of me, like ribs fucking forward. And I had to do that. You, you you push real hard on one side, it jukes you real hard to the side, and then you push real hard on the other side, and it jukes you back into your lane. And it's an emergency maneuver. And I just taking the class is probably the only reason I fucking pulled it off. Uh-huh. But uh, try doing that on a one wheel, I'm like <laughs> uh, like try to stop, and you're either like either you're flying forward from the head first, or it has some kind of anti lock brake system, and you're slowly stopping. You hit the fucking carcass, or you try to. I don't feel like you can do that juke maneuver because yeah, it, yeah. it highly depends on your one wheel cutting, your other wheel pushing, and then cutting your other wheel. But there's one, that's yeah. the only way to do here it. Here it is. Here it is right here and, so you guys can see it. And, it and, is. And just to get, like, people are like, oh, you have a one wheel, Tom. What do you say? My one wheel, the max, I got the version one, is 12 miles an hour. Even, like, the, the XR version now will go, like, maybe 19 or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Fucking 90 miles an hour is absurd. It's crazy. It weighs 110 pounds. Wow. It's the in motion V13 Challenger. Oh, it needs a big ass electric motor to go that fast. Yeah, there it is. You can get it with suspension or without. Without, you're just going to die, I guess. You hit something, you just fly. So that it, th- you okay? You're sitting on that. That's kind of like a one wheeled no. motorcycle. No, 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 no. no, no. You're no not it's sitting so, on it, that. it doesn't even come up to your knees. No, no. You stand oh, okay. on the platform on the bottom. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. All it's right. like the Green yeah. Goblin's little fucking yes. floaty device. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. You stand on the platform. It's uh, the Gizmo Duck. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. It, blather and blather, Sky. <laughs> we have to ride one of these. Uh, I want to ride one. Just what do you think they cost? Six grand. Twelve grand. Thirty nine hundred. <laughs> wow, thirty nine hundred bucks. A, oh, yeah. a, a brand new one wheel is like nineteen hundred bucks. So it was like uh, thirty nine hundred you know, bucks. You could do ninety. Yeah. You can kill yourself so much quicker on oh, this. Oh, here thing. they are. Here they are. I'm on the in mo it's by it's by the company in motion. They make a lot of scooters apparently. But in motion these are the guys that make the Electric unicycle, and they got a bunch of different ones. <laughs> Imagine here. being an I four, <laughs> like because you can keep up with traffic, right? Yeah, you're going uh, to sixty five miles an hour down I four. I mean, they got them as okay. We could get the the little one. You want the little boy? 
How uh, fast is that going? Let's see here. Born uh, to be 25, cool. 25 <laughs> miles an hour. Even 25 in that little tiny frisbee is <laughs> pretty crazy. Yeah, that's. Can I ride this thing if I can't ride a regular unicycle? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. self balances. Yeah, it's, it's self balances. Uh, it's a self balancing yeah, it, fucking it, thing. It's easier. It doesn't. Mm. It doesn't require your core. This may be how I die if I kill myself on this thing, Tom. Get a tribute tattoo I mean, on your arm with your ponytail <laughs> and do rag collection. <laughs> Nothing would look Dude. cooler than. Like, <laughs> Dude, just tooling through downtown with a four foot yeah. braid whipping behind me. Yeah. Yeah. Just a trail of yeah. jokes. Like, <laughs> the tribute should be you. Other comics would have hated it. You, you with up. the mic doing stand up comedy, doing what you love, not on you, so writing on what kills Hold you. Hold on. You yeah, are it. Agree. What if we get him a backpack of speaker and a mic and he's just mobile? He's not your he's, mobile stand up. He's the 90 mile an hour comic. <laughs> I want a tribute tattoo, Tom. It's just me in a hospital bed <laughs> all the time. Holding a mic. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it dies. There's the hospice nurse. <laughs> um, all right, what else are we get? Let's, uh, let's finish this off. Just one more. Don't, so the you want to do the vitality breath Yeah, work? do the okay. vitality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Besides the fact that I, we can go right through quickly that just me and Ross are making horrible Bruce Willis <laughs> memes last night. Oh yeah, yeah, and we're done with it. We got it out of our system. Yeah, <laughs> we did it. We're uh, <laughs> there. There is something funny and wrong about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like ah, it's, it's, it's good and, and not good. All right, hold on. Where am I going to here? We're gonna do the. Uh, so so I saw these yeah. uh, advertising, I, like basically a Facebook ad about this, and it's a convention that's coming here on Tuesday. And in the ads, it is uh, a conference room, like in a hot- like a hotel or whatever, filled where there must be like seventy five to one hundred and fifty people in this, and yeah, they might all be more. They all have different mats and whatever. Like everybody lays out their mat or whatever their comfort uh, like square is, <laughs> and then they have like sleep masks. Some of them have sleep masks, and then they're all screaming and crying at the same time, and it's some sort of like. Emotional stress release. Well, they retreat. call it breath work. Breath work. Yes. Uh, and I do breath and- work. Like, I do it, um, <laughs> like, just slightly through, like, uh, you know, doing uh, therapy and yeah, like yeah, just meditation. Like, meditation, yeah, sure, but and, not like this. And I, and the, the, there's science behind it. I'm like, Wim Hof can fucking be in cold ass water that would, uh, you would go into hyperthermia. <laughs> And oh, sorry. So I, I, I'm so sorry. I, and monks do this. I believe in goddamn TikTok. Like the, there's science behind this, but the the part that makes me so awkward and looking, I can't even look at it because I can't imagine being in a conference room full of people screaming and crying. Yeah. <laughs> like the whole, like, uh, it, and it's so awkward to me it, that it hurts my heart. And it's like real. I don't know what they're belly belly aching about. Like here. Well, like, it's just they're getting it out. They're getting their emotion. But like, here, I, I, well, watch this. I have a theory too. But it's a bunch of people screaming. Now hold on, he's tapping her titties right there. What's going on there? (laughs) Is that Mariah Carey in the background? (laughs) How awkward is this? Is this as awkward to to you guys as it is to me? You know why it's awkward? Because it's fake. It's fake. It makes I, you feel the same way as like those crazy churches where yes. they speak in tongues. And These shit. are people that he is preying on people's yeah, egos, it's like a and cult. he's like, I, "No, this is what this is what I think he's preying on. He's preying on people's egos in that he's like, I'm going to set up this place that you can come, and I've got a hundred and fifty little areas that you can all fill up, and then you're all going to you've paid to try and outdo each other on who can be the most inspired by my <laughs> bullshit." Well, they're it's all bullshit. They're all screaming and yelling. Now you, they're, they're because they want attention. They're like, I want to be the person screaming the loudest because yeah, be I am the best. But no, I've seen these motherfuckers. It, I work so with them, awkward, and man. they're fucking charlatans. <clears throat> How could you be in that room? You're right because like, it's not real. We've been in. Everybody's been in this situation where you've been reduced to tears. Like you, something high stress. Not you, Tom. Obviously, oh, you don't, yeah. you don't, you don't, you don't cry. <laughs> but like you, something high stress in your life has happened yeah. to where you're like, I've I just got to like sit down and cry this well, shit I've, out. Walked out of here because I was freaking out. Was I, I, my anxiety is going to crush my face. But I, what's happening here? These people are just having a regular ass day. They walked in. They were like, "Here's my ticket. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Arm back." <laughs> And this how much is, do you this think? This is my mat. And then they sat down and started doing this shit for no fucking reason. How much yeah. do you Fake. think a ticket is for this? Three fifty. 
Three hundred and fifty dollars. The These Orlando, people are fucking morons. The one, the one <laughs> Tom, what do you think? Was like a hundred. Well, I was gonna. I was letting everyone oh, guess sorry, first. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> I, I, I was gonna go like a sixty dollars. Yeah, it's one twenty. Okay, it's one twenty. You can go see Shen Yun for that. Let's right? watch some more. Hold on, I want to say more, more belly. But, like, I watch them out doing each other. So this lady's trying to barf. <laughs> Not real, fake. You're a fake person. Can you? Fake. Everybody has a. Oh, she's got her dog. <laughs> fake. This is all fake. Why is she stiff? The two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she stiff arms? Like is that Jason Mraz? Okay, hold I mean, on. This person's got a sleep you're mask. Literally, and you're literally slow just, dancing. You're just videoing people that want to be videoed going. <laughs> <laughs> now, right, hold on. Okay. Now, you, the same thing with churches. Like, you could say, the, like, are they acting or are they having some sort no, of experience? No, they're, act, they're all acting. And, uh, mm. like, because if you do have a, if you cry or legitimately have some emotional release, you do feel better after. Right? True. That's why but this is psychology. Uh, can you force yourself to have an emotional release? Yeah, absolutely, you can. And why does it have to be in a conference room full of other people just do it <laughs> well, in your bathroom? A shared experience, well, perhaps? Well, my answer to that would be because there's no cameras <laughs> the other way. Oh, the yeah, cameras okay. are here uh, and I can show these people I, that I'm the best uh, I, at being a, you know. You're exactly right. Because, like, for 60 bucks, you could go to, like, four shows at Will's Pub and, like, have a good time watching, you know, a show. Right. And listen but to the lyrics. Or, these people yeah. want to perform instead. They're this performers. Is, they're they're paying yeah. to perform. Perfect performers. I, I would like to talk to someone who would go to somewhere or is going to oh, somewhere. I would like, go this to this. is in Orlando on Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, like, I would love for someone to go to this and tell us. Now, we made fun of it so much, I feel like that person is going to be uh, uh, apprehensive about talking to us about it, but we won't make fun of you. I just want to no. hear about your experience. Unless you perform. Form. I want to hear about <laughs> you being in this room of everybody who's crying and screaming. Because, like, when you get out of there, like, you don't want to be the person, right? Like, you don't want to be the person that, like, they're like, how was it? And you're like, well, yeah, I, know, yeah, I didn't feel it. You <laughs> want to be the person. And he oh. interviews people afterwards. He's like, how do you feel? And they're like, oh, my God, it was truly remarkable. I've done a lot of breath work. But this breath work was truly just, it anchored my soul. What does that even mean? But. In religion, this happens. <laughs> this happens where I bet if you interviewed eighty percent of the people that are, you know have some sort of like you know jump up and speak in tongues and go crazy, you know, right. if you ask them, they would be like, I. I wasn't putting on a performance. Like, I felt that way. Right. Yeah. And, I, and well, I would just say you're a liar. So, yeah. well, no, no, no. But I, I believe <laughs> that they feel compelled to do yeah. that and they have some sort of something. Here's right? the tell, though. It's going to be the same people every fucking week because they like that attention and they want okay. it again. It's Sip, not going to be right. some guys who's going to get well, has never done it before right. and is like sat at the back and avoided all. He's going to be like, yeah, today's the day. It's going to be the same fucking assholes every week. But the then, chat wants you to send Tuttle to this. <laughs> well, oh, they're oh, gonna oh, be, they're gonna, if you guys want to go hide out on this. Goddamn, Charlotte is going to be hitting him over there. Because he's, he's going to be like, tapping his titties. Again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he I, was tapping that lady's titties. Was I was going to propose send me to this shit. I'll sit down on a mat, you know, like wait for them to make the announcement, and then I just start laughing. <laughs> I just start like pointing at people and laughing. I see. Well, I because I do feel like do whatever makes you happy. Who yeah. gives a shit? It's not me going there or whatever. Like uh, mm, you know, I draw a line. <laughs> <laughs> I would go though, but only to shit all over. This makes you happy. You're a bad person. Yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's, like, it's so awkward. How are you not embarrassed oh, at all? I want to watch. Who that. are these people that are not embarrassed? I want to watch a little uh, bit more. Their behavior: pedophile, <laughs> serial killers, people crying in public. Hard no. Tap of the titties. You gotta tap them titties. <laughs> he pushes their fat belly. <laughs> I like that guy's like, let's go! <laughs> it, sounds like, it sounds like Bruce Springsteen just got here. So no, see, awkward. So hold on, that, so well, that one lady right there that yeah. you heard, see, they were videoing one lady. Yeah. I can prove what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Oh. They were videoing one lady. The lady you hear is mm-hmm. a lady saying, hold on, the video camera's over there. I need the video camera. So she goes... <laughs> like put it on me, bitch! And that scream was f- so fake. Yeah, it they're was all, like the fake. They're all just it's fucking. Like, you need attention, you little baby. Like oh. Max dancing at the Solar Bears <laughs> game. No, uh, that's like, no. the cameraman. No, no. Film me. No, no, Max dancing. That was pure joy. There's a difference. That <laughs> no, was, but yeah, he, but it's for attention. Yeah, though. he wants the camera. He, he wants to be on that jumbo jet. Still more harmless than this. <laughs> no, this but for doing something positive, dancing is a is a positive activity. It's not just fucking rolling around crying. <laughs> 
for no just, goddamn reason. Raw. These people are just bellyaching. <laughs> oh, man. And it's, anyway. fake. it's not even real bellyache. And then they're going right. to lie about what happened after. Yes. They're going to leave. They go, how do you feel? Wow, oh, my God. I think it's changed my life. No, it hasn't. You're the same fucking attention-starved, horrible piece of shit God. that you were when you walked in here. It's almost the only way you could even go to this thing is by not having a trauma to fucking need this for. <laughs> right. If you needed this, you would never go to it. I, I want to talk to the guy who puts it on. <laughs> <laughs> you got a hundred... Yeah. Like, What's this his many name? people? 120 bucks? What's his name? I forgot. Swingali. Wingali. Like, Wingali. Yeah. I think his name was Wingali. Dr. Tears. <laughs> <laughs> you rent out the conference center. You get a PA. That's all you need. Everybody will bring I mean, blankets. we can do this. I got to wipe down the mats afterwards. We uh, tallage Marty now. Whoa. Yeah, with Talage Marty now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I try. that's a name you can trust. <laughs> 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 All right, let's get out of here. Right. Uh, Ross, are you going to be anywhere performing? Uh, yeah, check out the Orlando talk show with me, Ross McCoy, on your favorite podcast app, just uh, Tots for Ross. And uh, yeah, uh, Wednesdays at the Bull and Bush, we got open mic, and then every first and third Saturday, including tomorrow, if you're listening to this today. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow, <laughs> yeah, Saturday, we got a shit sandwich comedy showcase. Really good one, too. We got Crespo coming in. I got Will Blaylock coming in from uh, fucking Jacksonville. It's going to be a good show tomorrow. Come yeah. to that one. Well, that only works if unless they're listening tomorrow. <laughs> 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 anyway. Well, well, uh, well okay. if they're listening in the future and there's time travel. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, that's true. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> take those mushrooms. Go back in time. <laughs> oh, and uh, don't forget. Don't get the thing that killed him as a tribute. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, semantics. Uh, Samantha's doing her uh, six year anniversary party at Rock Pit Brewing. Um, yeah. February 26th. Yes. yes. Semantics Sunday at starts at noon. Yes. Uh, we are going to have some brand new stickers that are Orlando Magic inspired, as well as Joe Byrne from Burn Pest Control is offering free beers. Yes. All you have to do is find somebody wearing a Burn Pest hat, walk up to them, and tell them burn them pests, and they will give you a ticket for a free beer. Can I just ask for the beer? No, <laughs> they won't give it to you. Yes, pass. you have to yeah, say burn and pass. Burn and pass. Uh, if Joe's he, he there, won't. I'll be like, Joe, Joe's not going to be there. So, oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Are, you here? Are, are you here for Joe? Yeah. I'm dumb. I know your boss. Yeah. <laughs> give me a beer. <laughs> oh, uh, and we're recording tonight <laughs> with uh, the hosts of the Fourth and Dirty podcast. Both Jesse and Evan are going to be on tonight. Semantics, and that will come out this Sunday. There you go. Awesome. My wife's been working out in the field a lot, and uh, a lot of people have been coming up to her and saying they know her boss from high school. Really? Okay. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is an yeah. odd uh, thing Who to say. Who gives a fuck? Um, also, we will be having a BDM show on Monday, but it's a uh, a wife cast we recorded this week. Yeah, so way to sell the sizzle. Well, no, no, it's, I it's liked it. New it was, content. It was, yeah, good. It was a, a new good OG, one. and yeah. there will be also a new ACT all pre recorded. Yep. Yeah, all yeah. new stuff for you guys. So, uh, and we'll be back on Tuesday. So, yeah, we're gonna do some camping. Hopefully, gather some stories. Yeah, oh yeah, we'll have stories. Yep, and also ticks. I hope, yeah. hope, hopefully, oh, one man. of us will get some ticks. Yeah, ticks oh, yeah. are out, man. Max is gonna puke outside. <laughs> no, no puking for him. They don't even stand to pee, Ross. What? Oh, what are you I doing? I have to oh, go through the whole thing. It's the uh, they don't know how. It's those extra skin. I have yeah, no yeah. nose. Just sit down. No just keep it in the bowl. Like, oh, what is that? Easier to the closer to the water. How are they yeah. gonna pee in the woods? Have a safe. You have to sit on the dirt. They got oh, porta potties. Yeah, we bring the whole thing. It's out. They bring porta potties. My pop. No, no, they. The company, they no. The company does. They don't uh-huh. like. Oh no, they, we bring our boat porta potty. Yeah. Crystal brings it. Right. In. I thought you gave that up because no. you had to bury all the crap. No, uh, Crystal's back better than ever. She's <laughs> <says, laughs> get better than ever. Oh she, she says you figured it out. Jeez, uh, he's like an Elvis comeback special. Uh, have a safe Tom, time. Completely week, you know? free. I won't even charge you for this. I will teach you kids how to be standing. <laughs> I try to tell them. They're like, what is this? What for? if that's yeah. not that? I they think like that's to it. Sit. What if that's dumb old man way to pee? <laughs> you tried. You failed. Time to bring it a real. Oh. I, oh my god! Shots fired yeah, at the end. Shots fired. I sit the pee. Uh, we're, we're, <laughs> look at my children's sex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye bye. Wait a minute, I I can't publish that. It's um, mediocre. <laughs>